Good morning, Watson. Good morning, Holmes. And welcome back. Uh, if you're if you're watching the stream for the first time, me and Lydia are investigating crimes. Crimes. And deciding punishments. Of a harpoony nature. Yes, that was our first case. And also, Watson, do you remember? I do. I, how could I forget? The case of the harpooned man. Oh, dead Peter. Think yes. about him all the time. Dead Peter just left up there. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> dead Peter. Hey, dead Peter. We said. If you're in the chat, thanks, dead <laughs> Peter. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was a great one. And then last week, we did the case of the ghost train, which we thoroughly balled up. Well, yes, we did. <laughs> we really balled up. We got that so one close wrong. and then. It right up. <laughs> and then picked exactly the wrong opposite answer. Yes. I saw a comment, actually, which I think we can learn from, where someone said, we literally said, why would they build a massive barge to sink a train? It can't be that. But then why was the barge there? The information was right there for us, and we just chose to ignore it. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we were stupid. We tried to be cleverer than the game. We out and we're not clever the game. Around. I think the game did a thunking on us. Anyway. We got thunked. A new a new one. A beans dip. A new one. Um, you can watch that in its glory. I think our version of events was more plausible. I do too. I still don't uh, go with this barge. Uh, malarkey. Malarkey. Yeah. Sounds like a b lot of bull crap to me. A lot of hookum. Hookum. Hookum schnookum. Schnookums. Um, yeah, it didn't make sense. Uh, anyway, uh, Lewis explains how he still won. <laughs> That's right, Lydia. We solved the case. Yes. In our own way. In our own special way. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool case. It, well, yeah, no, it was. Uh, it started off just a, a simple. I thought it was a simple insurance fraud, and then bam. And then Lydia shot a dude in the head. I right. shot that. I forgot. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I forgot about that. I just panicked. Okay. I fucking panicked. So we got a new case, Thir a third case. Um, here yeah. they still want us to do cases. Despite <laughs> our incredible, oh, I don't know why. <laughs> like I think. <laughs> despite our incompetence. Put down the opium pipe. Well, we we unlocked some of the the, the keys, I suppose. We weren't miles from the truth. We unlocked it. We, we got all the facts. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Holmes is dead. Oh. He's been poisoned. I feel... It's come down. Deathly. Won't you look it? Let me examine you. Told you. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your old habits. Oh, of drugs. He loves it. He's had all his drugs. He been having a, oh, bend. It. He's been on a bender. He Hang on. How, how are we going to show what? Holmes ourselves? <laughs> how do we... Oh, this is Watson. But Watson can't. I can't do jack shit. No, but he's a medical examiner. He can look oh, at. Oh, okay. He can All examine. Right. I'll examine. Dilated. I see. Right. I won't be able to say like he's this a... man did carpentry in the 1940s That's because right. of the slight because crook of in the his wood left chips under his <laughs> sleeve coat. <laughs> sleeve coat. <laughs> What's it called when you have your sleeves rolled up? Uh, fold. Badass. The whole, I think you. The think fold of it. his cuff. His cuff. His cuff. Yes. This, this is more just medical. Uh, the forehead appears to be normal. Forehead. Uh, measure heart rate. Here I need we to oh. concentrate and count the heartbeats. I'm excited. Start the stopwatch. One. I need to concentrate oh. and count the heartbeats. <laughs> what? You have to click every time there's a heartbeat. Hold it down. One, two, three, four. Very slow. Five, six, seven. Normal. Eight. Is that normal? Oh, no, no, he's dead. So oh, I told you, weak. 50 beats per minute. Weak. He's, he's a sick boy. But you're dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. <sighs> the antidote. <laughs> Give me Give it the to drugs. Me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? No. Please. It looks I think he poisoned Thank himself as like a... Don't tell Fucking me Sherlock. Why would you do that? Sherlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Holmes, imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. 
This is this is always Hobbes' downfall, isn't it? Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. It's always like something he can't foresee. He's back already. He's back, old old Lestrade. This is a strange that was some <laughs> high level <laughs> young bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. They were found stranded in a rowing boat that was drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the bath, but mm. uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. Hello. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway, there was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that uh -oh. the largest steamer <gasps> ever built? Yes. Uh -oh. And these two Is this young banker chaps are sons of the owners of the White Star Line, the company that built it. There are rumours of corruption. I'm not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll keep it then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe too. Oh, yeah, the Oceanic also sunk. It's yeah. a murder, but we're unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. It's at the Roman Baths in Strand Lane. A murder, a vanishing weapon, the Roman Baths. That's for us. Watson, <laughs> fetch your hat. <laughs> I wanted to investigate the Titanic. Yeah. I oh, those other ones. I was making, I was making mental notes. I was, like, I was like doing the mind palace in my head. I was like... <laughs> Connect, yes. connect. Connection. That oh, works. Yes. Oh, no. uh, mm. A smoking yes. man. Ah. Mm, a smell. <laughs> Mexican tobacco. <laughs> yes. And then he already appeared right behind us. Mm. Hello. It smells like a dead dog <laughs> from <laughs> Chancery <laughs> Lane. <laughs> yes. Lovely. Maybe it got got the chew to Oxford Circus. Uh, mm. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. hell, mm. Watson. Spicy. Lovely. Smelly. Very smelly. Stinky, Watson. <laughs> smell of a, a butt. <laughs> <laughs> Watson. Oh, yeah. Well, Steve, do you want to check the buzz? So I'm getting a little bit... I'm worried that the buzz is going to start going crazy. Oh, this is very fancy. Beautiful place. With a dreadful murder. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched. Steam room? Mr. Holmes. Oh, dear. It doesn't seem like a very good idea to leave his body in the steam room. Wouldn't he go... Wouldn't he, like, decompose really Real quick, quickly? Real quick, yeah, yeah. Heat? Start, like... Cooking it. Ugh. Steam. Slowly, slowly so steam. Literally like cooking him. Like a slow cooker. A maybe it wouldn't smell because he would be cooked and delicious. Maybe it would actually be quite fragrant. Like a pork. Like, like a, a delicious, delicious pig. Pork. Pork. Are you able to identify I the think it was just who are with the victim in the steam room? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> the manager of the bar, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. Mm. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. Well, it wasn't Garrow then. seem right in the head. Well, right. we shall see. Okay, what was the weapon? You found no murder weapon? No, and that's why I called. Can I get a bit louder, Steve? All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, and they remained so until we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. Oh, it's I a see. it's a locked door mystery. Oh, I love it. Was there anyone else here apart from those gentlemen in the steam room? Yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He will be able to give you more details. Right, so he found the body, I guess, Mr. Phillips? Mr. Phillips, okay. Okay, so we're at the old uh, Roman the old bars. Roman bars. Okay, so I was chatting to you. That's me. Hello, Mr. Phillips. Romans loved their bars. They you know? loved a little bath. Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Tell us what happened. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Detail. Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night. Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up. 
And then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Well, oh, so I thought he was in there alone. He was in there with three other people in the steam room. They were locked in. Hmm. Or am hmm. I... Steve, Did you, are you there? Can you turn it up a bit? Visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. Ah, thank you. And then, while we were discussing work details, Thanks. Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. And what happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room? Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. Right. Okay, well, I'm going to look you up and down to an intens intensively uncomfortable degree. Those liar's eyes. Light wrinkles. Okay. Liar's eyes. Liar's eyes. Thieves' lips. Fastidious. What? Fastidious. Fastidious. I can't say that word. Fastidious. Grooms himself. Lives alone. How do I know he lives alone? Because he scissor cut. He cuts his own hair. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he lives alone, does he? I sometimes cut my hair, but that's just because, you know. You don't trust. I, you gotta, I don't trust the hairdressers, and you got to save it. Pinch a penny wherever you bloody can. Well, in this era, Lydia, um, if you don't, you know, if you don't, um, oh no, he's fastidious, I guess, because he's quite clean. He's he's clean. It's, why is it giving me all these options? He's got it doesn't this. usually do that. Oh. Or maybe it's one or the other. Maybe shiny buttons. That says a maybe lot. you have to make a decision on whether you think he cuts his own hair or he lives alone. <laughs> But look at all the, uh, all the, uh, how shit his haircut. Maybe if you go back up, you can city? switch it between the two. Let's have a look. Hi. Yeah. You see what I mean? Oh no, no I uh, see. I guess it leads to that. Yeah, he hasn't done that before though. Okay, it's shiny mm. button. So he, he takes care of himself. Supports Manchester, supports city. Manchester city. And that is weird. Aha. Telegram was sent today. You sent a telegram today. Right, tell us about the telegram. Why don't we stop talking to him? Come back. These paths are becoming sinister. Oh, I want to look at the telegram. Hmm. Oh, maybe it was just to say, he's dead. Well, the steam you room's know. on the other side, Mr. Holmes. Thank you. Right, that's exit, by the way. Oh. Let's, let's say on it, exitus, well, which feels like not the right word for... Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe I can't read. Frigid iron, this is the cold, on the side, cold one. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, process of elimination. What does it say on it? Oh, sorry. I'm getting used to the controls again. Uh, Sudatorium. Sudatorium. And apoditerium. Terium. Okay, let's do it. I guess it's more than just a steam room in here. Ooh. It could be the actual baths. This, be this is nice. So this Very is like nice. changing area. Well, Ooh, look at fancy. this. Lovely. Oh, it's me. Oh. Very nice. The squid. <laughs> Amazing. I know it's a bit more like an octopus, but you know, I'll take what I can get. It kind of, it's kind of like me. Yeah. Uh, this guy over here is. Is he holding a uh, carrot <laughs> in his right hand? <laughs> He's got a fish in the other hand, I think. Is that a fish? That does look like a fish, yeah. A little fishy boy and a, a carrot. Carrot. In the other. It's gonna make like a casserole. A nice carrot casserole. These fish. clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. Oh, Ooh, can we give fancy it a further clothes. That, These clothes here? belong mm, to right. one of the suspects from the. Folded into a cube. To one of the <laughs> it's very Marie Kondo, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Very neat. Sparking a lot of this joy. This one is not. A bit messier. Expensive clothes. Belonging to one of the men from the steam room. Right, so hang on a second. There's three sets of fucking clothes here. So there's three people in the steam room. I thought they said there was one guy dead. That's what I thought, but then... It made it sound like there were two other people trapped in there with him, or maybe even a third person trapped there. Well, it must be two other, because there's only three sets of clothes. Ooh, champagne bottle, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. An ice bucket to keep the champagne chilled. Keep that shit on ice. Unopened. It was intended to be enjoyed after so the steam session. So it's like a celebration session. after the steam session. Melted ice, Champagne climate. for a special occasion. Very peculiar. Okay, I'm concerned about the three sets of clothes. Do you know what I mean? Like, people don't tend to bring a change of clothes with them well, unless they, they planned. Well, they got naked and went into the steam room, and then they would come out and put the clothes back in, back on. Yeah, let's go in there. 
Oh. So they got old Nudy Rudy in I'm the sure old what steam to room. Expect. Oh. Uh oh. Here he is. There, there cooking. Is, there is blood. Ooh, his wow, eye's been Lord taken. Lord. Oh, it's our guy over there, Death just like, fucking hot in here. <laughs> piquancy, like the one you almost had an hour ago. And let us forget about that. It is peculiarly Roman, isn't it? Very strange. And um, Phil, oh, there is three other guys in here. How, did, how awkward must they feel right now? <laughs> but there's only two sets of clothes. Oh, no, there's three. Three sets of clothes. But where's one of their clothes is missing? Okay. Hello. There Where was only eyeball? one hit from the weapon. It pierced the right eye straight through to the brain. Death would have been instantaneous. Wow, he went down. He went down quick. Okay. Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Dirt. Oh my god, he can do that, can't he? Some dirt or earth. Yeah, it's just like the barrow of, <laughs> of Hampstead. <laughs> this dirt, Watson, has been all oh, come from... Mm. The wound should not have bled old, so profusely. Piss yard. This pool <laughs> is rather large. Oh, they used to okay. farm piss. <laughs> well, still do, due to the fact that it's Victorian times. Piss everywhere the in Victorian times. Okay, so he bled more than he should have, is what they're saying. Mm. Uh, okay, I don't think I can look at anything now. Oh, there's more on the right hand, I think. Oh, more? Yeah. The, the, oh. The death is very recent, between 30 minutes to one hour ago. Wow. Mm, fresh corpse. Look, Watson, ah. he was wearing a ring. He very likely removed it before the so steam he was session. Married. Why would you remove your ring before the steam session? I think we have found all that we can Why here, would you? Yeah. taking into consideration anything, the abysmal life. Unless it slipped off, off because you're Constable, sweating? Constable, we have finished with the body. Although I don't think that was his, ma his ring, his marriage finger. I feel like... We don't have many wait, leads Let me act here. it out. What concerns me is that we still no, have to find finger. the murder weapon. Mr. Holmes? Please have the body removed without disturbing anything else. Not going to leave him there? All right, Mr. Like Holmes. Leave him there. I was wondering, Holmes, it's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are a great many possibilities. The murderer was in a hurry. Or he is an artist. Or a ghost. Or he wanted to ensure that I'd be brought in on the case. Probably the latter. You are ridiculous. Do you know that? Here's our Watson. But wait, is it... Not one of these three, then? The three that were in here with him? What? Why are they now in here? Why, why are you guys all in here? Nude, rude, and lewd. Let's talk soon. Mr. Garrett. It's horrible. So Rodney, he's dead. Can't we speak about it somewhere else? I mean, this isn't the best thing. Yeah, I suppose we probably can. I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. Okay, okay. It's horrible. I can't talk at the Ooh, moment. Look at that hair. Right. He has lost a very specific section. Very nice. Interesting. Very interesting, okay. The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. I will need something to pick up this melted metal. Oh, right. Ooh, item required. Hmm, something was put in there. Okay, so they wanted to get rid of some air yeah, there's evidence. There's some tongs over there. Glass. Oh. Harry Potter. One lens is cracked. <laughs> he did it! Of the we well, know who he was. <laughs> he used the wizard's <laughs> wand. He disapparated out of here. <laughs> One leg is bent. cracked. Yeah, look at the leg bent as well. Probably due to the temperature well. of the brazier. Leg bent. Uh, you, you see? These lenses oh, yeah, yeah. are for my own. Oh, right. The wearer is short-sighted. Oh. I think he said I've looked at everything. Okay. What about that thing on the wall? thrust from my hand. Uh, ooh, turn it off. Oh. Oh, is that turning it up? With the steam on, I'm <laughs> able to see even a few feet away. <laughs> Oh, right, so you could tell Oh, you could kill someone, someone and no one dark. could see. This is nice, isn't so if it? If we press T, what can we. Imagine how sweaty Holmes must be right now. It's fully clothed, head to toe in a suit. Yeah. Must be sodden. Is there anything else we could see in here? Uh, like, if we were murdering him in the steam, oh, we'd barely be able to, able oh, to find it. Walking into the bloody walls. 
Okay, so we can't bloody find him. All right, we'd have to... It's weird that they had T as an option, though. It feels like there should be... No, but this means that any one of those three could have killed him. Right, and the other one would have seen. With the steam on. And they turn the steam back off, and it's like... Ah, he's dead. Who done it? Hmm. Right. Okay, so... Uh, and he's something to pick up. What's what on? should we do next, Holmes? He's something to pick up that thing in the fire. Bloody need something I to pick up a thing with. So. Oh, let me look at your blood on your towel. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's a handprint! Blood traces wiped on the towel. What's that about, huh? I found him. I touched his shoulder, thinking that he was just asleep. His eye wasn't in there. I don't think you'd think he was sleeping. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Okay, I can't find anything in this room to pick that up with. Maybe Are there any other th we get later? Are there any other bits that... Yeah. Maybe. I think standing out... It might be getting even more puzzly, like we get it in a different place and bring it back. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe not. I don't know. All right, let's, let's leave this place. See ya! Uh, I want to go talk to the... I want to talk to those guys. Why won't they leave the steam room? Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? Uh, okay. Mm, well, someone's saying you missed it. Mr. Dangus, was it in there? Or are you just... Are you trolling me? Go on, press wait then. Wait, it's just... What did we miss? Please wait, I Mr. need to Dangus. do something first. The, to pick the thing up? There's some blood, apparently. Look at the blood, look at the blood now he's gone. Oh, okay, right. Uh, no, right. not this room. What was the room again? This room. Ask Watson to grab it. Nice. Good plan. Yeah. It's less important. Okay. Here we go. Now All we right. see a, a big old blood stain. Ooh. I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. <laughs> Sucks it up. She licks it up. <laughs> Stores tea it again? in his mouth. Tea? Prompt, prompt tea? Oh. Oh, Ooh, there's a key. This key was covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. Okay, that seems probably quite important. That's definitely going to be important. Um... But still, I don't think we can pick that thing up yet. That melted thing. No. No. And also, yeah, I think that might be it. Okay. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go in. Done a thorough. Chat to those Feels like we've done a thorough. Yeah. It's just there's something in here. I guess there's three sets of clothes. Which is weird. Where's the fourth set? Yeah, I guess it would be nice to know which set of clothes was to which person, but I guess they're all going to come back as evidence. Yeah. You'd think. We can root through their stuff. We can assign whose clothes are missing. Hello. The steam room keys? How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then... I put the key oh, yeah, it inside was my desk, but when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared. But I, I, I don't know where it is. is it Did you one? leave the baths yeah, at any maybe. time or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. <laughs> Q. Uh, what about your morning telegram? Oh, in fact, you were drinking on the job. Morning telegram. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning and you went to the post office where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. But how could you... No, I... So the telegram right was for pockets. someone in Manchester. Oh, he's betting. Mr. Holmes, it's oh. important. I'll tell you everything. I left the baths at 7.20. Oh, no, it's My not. sister yeah. wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes, and I closed the baths on my way out. Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Sir Gregory would give me the sack. I need this job. Mm. I see. I don't know, he seems like a nice guy. I believe him. There is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing room. Send him to Do the gallows! who left it there? <laughs> there is. Mm. Are you quite certain? I didn't pay any attention. Do you believe that it's important? 
Well, of course. How would you not moron. know that? All right. Uh, Lestrade, it's time to interview those men. Hmm. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? No. Well, no, no objections. No? Yeah. I mean, I would None put, like, a, I would check that when they leave, what they do. Can we just, I don't, that's probably just going to. Oh, examine belongings, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's head to the yard. Lots of gore. My body sweat brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, I love Lestrade. They're like, I love Lestrade. <laughs> teach you that I have to teach you. That's great. It's, it's quality imp 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 improvising there. That was great. Thank you. I was waiting for you to say that. It's better than his. <laughs> right. We've got these guys hanging out. These guys hanging out as well. What often. should we do next? <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go uh, check out this stuff first. All right. So this, All right. Is, this is the guy that had the... Bentcliff's belongings. Oh, this is the dead guy, right. So, Rodney Bentcliff. His name is Rodney, Rodney Bentcliff. Bentcliff's Rodney Bentcliff's notebook. It may contain something of interest. So this is this is the dead guy's stuff. Oh, right. Wow. Okay. So he sketched Ooh. a picture of a bard. There's drawing in there. And then the last pages out. were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone oh, from entering the room. Sketch. But first, fetch me a pencil. I love this bit. Do you remember you used to do that at school? To begin with, I used to love a few when strokes of the yeah. pencil would be yeah. enough. I don't want to damage the traces. Okay. Uh, ah! Oh. Oh. Kind of balls in my mouth, aren't I? Wait. Here we go. There we go. Today, Today, I almost found this date will go down in history. Anything down here? Today, I almost found it. And Today then to gently smudge it, the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. Smudge ah. it. Today I always found it. This date will go down in history. So he was looking for something in the Roman baths. And he maybe drew a picture of... Mr. Place Holmes, where it was. the coroner... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am what? sure that you must, Constable. Well... <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's taken him <laughs> Here's the coroner's report. All right. Subject, Sir Rodney. Do you want to read it? Subject, <laughs> Sir Rodney Bedcliffe. The right eyeball has been burst, pierced to the hilt by a curved bladed knife. The bone cut through the orbit of the... F the blade cut through <laughs> the orbit of the frontal bone, ripping a part of the frontal lobe and corpus callosum, after which completing its trajectory in the cerebellum Caused hemorrhagic lesions. Quite. So basically, what happened was stabbed him in the brain. Yeah, and he was 63, so he was getting on a bit. The Victorian times, that's basically ancient. All of these injuries led directly to the death of the individual. At the upper lobe of the right lung, there is an old injury filled with an amount of mucus and ciliated debris that may correspond to a chronic infection by elements likely inhaled in a burial chamber decaying mummy, for example, or a dried and decomposing food product intended to accompany the deceased in their grave. What? How specific? To a chronic infection where elements likely inhaled in a burial chamber. What the... The remainder of the body does not appear to have been damaged. So what? What? That is very strange. He'd been... He was... Was he an archaeologist? He must have been. Or like he, a, you know, explorer, discoverer. So he has an old injury filled with the amount of mucus ciliated debris 
that may respond to a chronic chronic infection by elements likely inhaled in the burial chamber of a mummy. How would you dis- how, how would, would you figure how that would you out? Look at someone's injury and be like, that's decaying mummy right there. <laughs> I'd know that crust anywhere. Well, I guess you could analyze it, but like But, but so it's, that is an important clue. It's very important. So how do you reckon this relates to the last note? Do you reckon he found Yeah. Oh, that's you know, like something in a tomb. Or he was at least a tomb robber. Maybe he finally like translated something yeah. or detected something. Maybe he works at the British Museum. Something like that. He's Sir. He's obviously, why is he a oh, Sir? Oh yeah, Sir Rodney. Well, he's probably not a tomb robber then. I reckon he's an archeologist. Hmm, Holmes, um, a mummy. He was killed by a mummy. <gasps> the curse. Of the mummy. Oh, like the like Tutankhamun, Tutankhamun. How do you say his name? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tuti, Tuti, King Tut. King Tut. Like everyone died, well, not every, you know. Then it was like, oh, the curse. Yeah, the curse I'm of the mummy. I'm reading a documentary about that. Very, very possible, but probably also not the actual solution to this. But it would be cool if it was. These days, the curse of the mummy is. When you're still living at home, when you're <laughs> the curse of the mummy. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, carry on. Okay, cool. Uh, I've read oh, the oh, I see. We have to go to this. All right. So these are our current things. Oh, his body is ready for examination. Apparently. Oh, okay. So I guess we got the <laughs> autopsy report, but hmm. go back to that page. Sorry, the, the first one. The ancient Roman bath at Strand Strand Lane is soon to be reopened. Oh, so it was closed. So why were they all allowed in there? Because they're all archaeologists? Um. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Do you want to carry on, anyway? Mm -hmm. Do you want to? No, you're doing great. I'm enjoying this. Blinkhorn's belongings. Letter from Pitkin. Oh, I guess there's more of his belongings that we didn't see. Um, Sir Gregory Pitkin's letter. Sir Gregory Pitkin, manager to Mr. Blinkhorn. Dear Sir, the interests that I request require the situation at the baths to be changed for the better. At the present time, the frigidarium excavations remain under your direction, and yet the works have not progressed. You have failed to find anything of value, and we are unable to make... The frigidarium accessible to the public. That's my new favorite word. The frigidarium <laughs> is a valuable asset in the recreation of the Roman bath experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You have this remaining time to conclude your archaeologi- archaeological research and to find yourself another workplace. Okay, so. Right. So, uh, Mr. Blinkhorn two. was an also an archaeologist digging in the baths in Rome. That's why they're at this archaeological site. And maybe they're all friends, or maybe yeah. like they were on a team together back in the day, and they've got jobs now. Yeah. So the guy who died wrote this to one of the other guys, one of the three guys there. Yes. And he's saying that the excavations in the Frigidarium uh, are not progressing. He's not doing good enough. And you haven't, he hasn't found anything good. But, I mean, that's kind of unrelated, is it? Well, it's, it's nice to kind of, it's I don't know. I, I mean, they always throw red herrings, at, don't they? Okay. All right. Um, that's the coroner's report. Yeah, so hit quit. Oh, we've done that. Well, um, what's the other An thing? An ordinary Pen- pencil. pencil? Okay. What's, sorry, go back to the first guy's plan. I guess there's more stuff from the oh, dead I'm guy that we missed. Right. A hand-drawn map. map. Ooh. Right, that could be anything. A Roman coin. An a old and seven. rather dirty coin. Right. Seven. Why would it have seven on it? This I don't know much about was most likely coins. the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed point. it before entering the like, steam room. I like them. Right, let's have a examination of it. Inscribed. Ooh, An Egyptian okay. symbol. It is a very old jewel. Okay, he has an old ring. I see the join. This ring was repaired, and quite badly, too, with silver. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. So it's not, I th- so it's not married. It's not a wedding ring. It's 
Why would you repair a gold ring with silver? Silver, yeah. And this, I mean, yeah. I, I could understand. Like, there's a thing in um, in Japan where they used to have, like, they used to import these Chinese pottery that was very expensive. And when it got broken, they would repair it with, like, um, gold amalgam. Okay. And so it, yeah. you'd end up with these beautifully, like, these, like, oh, rebroken. And then yeah, it yeah, caught yeah. on as because the royal family did it. And so people started deliberately breaking Smashing the stuff and oh, then really? repairing it. So it's called, like, it's a special thing, you know. It's, it's weird that you, bro you break something and break then something and to, re it. to repair it with gold as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, it's weird that the ring has been repaired with silver. silver. Almost like, it just seems weird to me. But maybe it's, there's a reason it for it. It's like a, just a cheap way of repairing Yeah, yeah. Uh, the office is going to Nando's for lunch. Would would I like to have it a thing? Uh, yes, well, I as uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. I have, I have some chips, Steve. Actually, chips. Uh, why don't um, Why don't you take over, Lewis? And I just <laughs> quickly look at the Nando's <laughs> menu. Okay, I'll and pick some. I'll go through the current. Okay. Thinking. All right, hot set Nando's. <laughs> I think you can just have like. Hmm. Menu. <laughs> These are the guys from the previous one, aren't they? Yeah. What should I get, chat? From Nando's. Yeah. Hmm, Alan Phillips is the only real guy we've spoken to at the moment. Our menu. Hmm. We need to check his alibi. We need to check that guy's um, that guy's alibi on his, his his family. We need to ring up Manchester, send them a telegram, and find out whether or not his fam he's telling the truth about that telegram to Manchester. What I can think about is chicken right now. Okay. <laughs> well, you just... I'll have a look through these chicken. guys' mornings. This is the towel well, that that guy was so wearing. Dead. Okay, yeah, yeah. But no, that seems like a very precise handprint. It wasn't like that, was it? Oh, that was so poetic. Listen. When Garro found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. That's beautiful. Do you not think that's a that's beautiful very line? Very beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, my God. A file with herbs... Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wart flower, Holmes. Oh, it's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. Yeah, it's um, However, an antidepressant. might lead to a rash. Oh, yeah. Hallucinations. Yeah, they still sell this today. Yeah, they do, don't they? But it's a kind of a bit of a placebo. Isn't it's it? like, um, yeah, I think so. It really does much. It's like, I think, yeah, I think it's like a little bit of a, um, yeah, a bit bollocks. <laughs> it's a bit of bollocks. Where's the sides? Well, it's no Prozac, that's for sure. It doesn't do that. Yeah. An it embroidered silk handkerchief. the old brain juices. Hmm. Where's, where's the sides? Salads, as if. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Sharing. Or it... Oh, yeah. St. Gregory Pitkin, manager of Roman Bath. Strand Lane, London. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. Okay, Steve, are you still there? Can I tell you what I want? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, Very immersive. <laughs> so we got the dead guy and his three fellows. So we have. Okay, can I get uh, the? Everyone's going to judge what I ordered, though. Well. The we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna read into it okay. as you do it Sherlock okay. Holmes style. All right. Lewis has ordered chips. <laughs> that means he doesn't like chicken or doesn't eat it. But who doesn't like chicken? <laughs> that means he must be a vegetarian. But why wouldn't he order any of the salads? Because Nando's salads are fucking terrible. <laughs> That's what right. What about the portobello mushroom and halloumi? Well, in that case, why doesn't he order that? Well, it must be because he doesn't eat cheese. Uh, therefore, he's a vegan. Lewis must be a vegan. Oh my We've done god. We've Sherlock Holmes. Oh Either. my god, okay, next. All right. Lydia. Okay, I will have the grilled chicken wrap, please. Lydia is ordered the grilled chicken wrap. This just means she's a normal <laughs> human being, I think. This is a very standard thing. Very normal thing to do. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, do I, do I want some chips? Do I want some chips? I kind of want to have some chips. Treat yourself. Oh, okay. Maybe you finish off your order before we go and look at this body. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the autopsy idea. room. That's a good. That's a very good idea. Is that okay, Steve? Grilled chicken wrap and and chips. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry <laughs> for this demeaning task. 
Okay, boom. Audit. Right, what did I miss? <laughs> well, nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, there was a... So there was a gold... So there was um, obviously the coin, the, okay, the yeah. ring, a very old Egyptian ring. Oh, okay. Weird as well. Like, I didn't know the Egyptians had rings, but that's the thing, maybe. Some drugs. Oh, was using right. Using St. John's wort powder, which if he overdosed on it, you know, might have... <laughs> oh, I'm crazy. Might have gone crazy. Especially with the combined with the heat from the steam yeah, room. Yeah, heat the steam room. Yeah, who knows? Um, there's some threatening letters from Gregory Pitkin threatening the work of Mr. Blinkhorn, but those two were both in the same... They were both in there. They were both, both in the... So, I mean, it might just be a standard thing, but yeah. Oh, and gosh, then a low-riding towel. There's some a dead boy, a dead man. <laughs> dead man. Oh, Lydia, you have to do the yeah. bobbing. Yeah. An sure. unusual wound inflicted by a curved knife which resulted in instant death as the coroner. Okay, the so do you reckon it's unusual. some sort of artifact? Yeah, I think that would be like an artifact. You, the curve might From the Egyptian According to the coroner, there like were no medicine. cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. Okay. Interesting. Nice nipples. 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 The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. He wasn't pregnant. <laughs> he was. He did not. He was not with child. Um, 63 is arm. good in the Victorian times, right? I thought like the average age was like 40. He died. Look, look at that peachy ass. Mm. Lividity. Some light bruising caused by. A did we just like flop him over? That feels a bit like we shouldn't be doing that with the, the body. The bruising is in lines. That's very. Strange. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was Ooh. descending somewhere. Oh God, he was descending he was somewhere. Descending. So he's got rope marks on him from <gasps> from going down into a tomb. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Just other bodies lying around, you know, the yeah, usual. Just the usual. What's the usual. Um, I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Well, usually chicken wraps. <laughs> some side of peri peri chips. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited for the Nando's now. That's going to be such a, a nice after I think we've done free. good here. I think we've. I think we've done everything. I think we've done in, enough. All right, let's go and interrogate some boys. Yeah, let's see if we can get some. Um, not that. Way, not that. Way. Oh, we can go in here before. Here we go. Oh no, I've gone backwards on my. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. I got confused. So we need to talk to one of them. Who do you want to talk Please to first? Please escort this suspect Linkhorn. for interrogation. Interrogation. Good day to you, sir. Okay, we've got a lot talking today. I Holmes, love this man's and hair. I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival, Percival Blinkhorn. Right, Percival. I'm going to look you up and down, you sexy boy. Oh, he's got... No. Focus look. Attentive. This is an attentive man. Okay. What's that birthmark on his cheek? I tried to look at that. It's not mm. anything. Do you want to uh, go forwards? Forward. Mm. Oh, braces. Ooh. Stylish, but they're rusty. Stylish, but shabby. So he wasn't... He didn't have much money. Uh, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Callous, so he's, he worked with his hands. Yeah, he, he was is. like the one digging up stuff. Dirty. Dirty, yeah. Makes sense. Digger. He's a digger, right. What is your occupation? I am a grave I'm digger. <laughs> Specialising in the Roman period. Mm. I am working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has, thanks to Sir Rodney. Sir so Rodney is the dead guy, right? Yeah, he did. Okay, what did you see? Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense and I didn't see anything much further after that. What did you hear? I just heard Mr. Garrow mm. shouting. 
But we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What, so what did you instantly? do? Well, the door was stuck. And with all the steam, it, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Oh, Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Mm-hmm. Mm, Champagne? Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? It's called champagne. No, I did not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything unusual? Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. All right. Okay. Ring. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. By the word. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for himself. Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. Mm hmm. Okay. Tell me more. What about was your family. relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Okay. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, uh, God. A cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Mm. So he seemed to admire What him. can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And um, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. The curse. The curse <laughs> the mummy. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. Ah, uh, liar! Why are you so poor? Pipkin's letter. Oh, yeah. This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Um, uh, yes. But since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. Okay. What do we think about this guy? Mr. Blinkhorn, I think that he th thinks that Rodney isn't a very good archaeologist. Ooh. And I think that he has a motivation to kill him based off of his... Uh, like, well, he obviously invited him to come to the conference, then aggressively said, no, I don't want you there for some reason. Maybe they had an argument, mm. and maybe he wanted to, like, he just didn't agree with his brand of, like, keeping stuff and not sharing it and with not, people. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's 1920, it's like the cowboy, you know, people were very kind of, they weren't exactly good. We were grabbing up stuff from across the world and taking it all back to the British Museum. Yeah. But a lot of people, I guess, were keeping it for themselves. Mm. Like old, um, what's his, who's dead again? What's his name? I was about to say old Pitkin, but that's that guy. Who's the dead you guy You could again? buy, like, mummies on the, you know, street corners of Cairo kind of thing. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, just... Please just, like, escort under the jacket. this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Well, he's not got a good attitude. He's different. I'm looking you up and down. Mmm. Mm. You got ears, you got a nose. Very nice nostrils. You got a very nice chin. Very, very lovely. Oh, oh this is the rich guy. That was the clothes that we said uh, we looked at. Right, this very wealthy. Mm, aristocratic roots. Nice, nice. So this is why he's a bit of an asshole. Comes from money. Oh, look at those juicy lips. Disdainful. Mm. 
arrogant look. Arrogant, very arrogant. All right, tell me about yourself. And what do you do? You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. Oh, okay. So they were having like a special pre-opening. Yeah. Like, let's all hang out before it's opened and have some champagne. They must what have was your other. relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? We were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious. Authoritarian. Unkind. Right. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. Okay. Okay. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. But then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Right. It could be that they were all three working together. Uh, recent unusual Had bit. Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behaviour? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. Hmm. Okay. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Ah! Um, the letter? No. Yeah, I guess we can use the letter again, right? Yeah. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the bar's publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Drugs. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Not Did you bring a bottle of champagne to the baths? Champagne? Absolutely not. <laughs> so Rodney did, I think. Okay, so the dead guy brought it. Right. Was it... Was there, I was one of them lying and it was... So, so, so this boy, Mr. Blinkhorn, was there digging up the baths, merrily ruining stuff. He's a bit shit. About to get fired. Anything. This guy owns it. This guy owns it. He's getting pissed off with him. So what does the other guy do? Okay. I'd like to find out. The Please what is, what is, escort what is, this suspect what is Mr. for Garrow interrogation. Even, like here for? So this is the guy that does... This is the weird, the hopeless guy. A good They're all day quite different. Yeah. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm so assisting the police with their investigation of the murder wet. of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. <laughs> Damn. Would you mind if Moist. I asked you a few look questions? He <laughs> looks a bit, a bit sort uh, of greasy. Uh, uh, I am Tristram Garrow. All right, I'll let you up and down. Yeah, oh, he's, me. Him. He's, he's hunched oh, posture. He's, he's got... Badly shaven. Lazily shaven. He's uh, downcast eyes. Eye bags. He's tired. He hasn't slept. Bags of eyes. Just bags and bags of perspiration. Sweating. Sweating. Ooh, ooh, gr that would explain the greasy sheen. He's got an anime wallet. <laughs> he's got oh. a. Oh, ooh, anime. he's like a superstitious person. Nice little tub here. A little bit of the tub. Chub a lub. A little bit of the chub. Too many chips. Too many very, very chips. <laughs> and he has dirty clothes. <laughs> what Does is he? your occupation? What do you do? Uh, I, I am a councillor ooh. at the uh, district chamber. Right. What were you doing at the baths? Well, yeah, I, I follow the researchers. I am uh, I interested in archaeology. But why were you there you in the follow them. frickin' steam yes. room? So many things happened and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. 
I, uh, I, I meant nothing by, by that. I, I apologize. All right. What? See, that's not very Sherlock Holmesy. We need to reveal everything. Yeah. What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? Wait. Uh, it was like uh, working with, with a genius. It, he was a hard man. Uh, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. Mm. And he, uh, he, he trusted me, but... Uh, this guy's incredibly oh. suspicious. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. It is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh, I, I, I feel bad. I, uh, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. <laughs> Fucking hell. He is Jesus. actually a, a lunatic. <laughs> Please try uh. to recall what you saw today. Oh, dear. The room was so, so hot. I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well. Oh, the glasses by the. Uh, but you found the body. I saw the knife, you know, flying through the air. I I, I saw the blood. Flying through I the air. I tried to escape. I I don't remember. You saw the knife. What did it look like? Everything was as if in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was was shining like like gold. Okay. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Okay. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he, he started to laugh. Okay, first of all, what he said there, he saw the knife flying through the air. Do you think he was hallucinating that? It could be, but also it could have been thrown into the fire, and that was w oh, why it melted. Oh, okay. Because it might have been melting. made of some... If it was an ancient Egyptian artifact, maybe they don't have, like, a huge amount of heat. And if the brazier's been hot... All night. It was, it was on all night. It melted away the knife. Melted away the evidence. Could have done. So some, someone stabbed him and then chucked it in the thing. One of the guys in there stabbed him. Was I don't know? It was like he got stabbed and then like got got pushed or pulled or there was a fight or like mm -hmm. a puff of it went flying through the air, fell in the thing, melted in there. But why were his glasses broken on the edge of oh, the yeah, his thing? Broken. Do you think like maybe he got punched in the well in the scuffle? He scuffled with him. He got punched, broke his glasses, and he stumbled over to the thing and just just just. I mean, the thing is, it takes forethought to to to, to, to dispose of that knife. In mm -hmm. a sense, like, would he have known to, to to? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but he would mention if he got punched. But also, the key in the blood underneath him. It's almost like it's almost like Rodney was the one who locked them in. Could in a sense, be because the 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 key was like stuck un wedged under his body. But Might maybe saved it in his crack. And maybe they couldn't then get out. The murderer didn't expect. Yeah, the murderer didn't expect Roddy to have locked him. the thing. They was hoping to get a clean getaway, and it was locked in there. I do like that idea that he's the one who locked it, Rodney. Yeah. So wait, I'm a bit confused about this guy. What does he do that he works with Rodney? He is a local councillor who's interested in archaeology. But why would he have been invited to that opening steam room? I don't know. So it seems weird that he was there, and he's obviously quite a little bit unstable. Like I don't think that rich guy would have invited him. No. Well, let's carry on yeah. asking qu these questions. Okay. Ring. His ring. Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring. Digging dark secrets. Mm -hmm. Really? Right. Yes. I, uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. So he fixed it. I see. Okay, that's why it's a bit crappy. And <laughs> <laughs> He'd done a shitty job. You know, this is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I, 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 I don't know. Right. Okay, that was a bit weird. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. Hmm. Champagne. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing champagne. room? <laughs> what? No. Okay. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that or he is a good actor. 
Mm. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Okay, I like this one. All right. right. So we've got stolen notes. Oops. Uh, so Rodney's lie. So Rodney was lying to everyone about his work. He was working alone and secretly. Broken yeah. glasses. Oh, broken by the heat. They were broken by the heat. Oh. Oh, okay. they, that's why they cracked. Okay. Gary was under strong medication. Uh... Pitkin wanted to fire Blinkhorn. Sorry, Sir Gregory wanted to fire Blinkhorn. According to Sir Rodney's notes, he was about to make a remarkable discovery. The notes were stolen. But they were stolen. Oh, of course, they were ripped out. Full of champagne and an ice bucket was found inside the changing room. We don't know who brought it. And the wound was made from a particularly curved and sharp weapon. Okay. Um, do, can we link any of these at the moment? Yeah, apparently, but I don't know who are. I reckon, like, maybe the stolen note that Sir Rodney... Well, Sir Rodney probably bought the champagne, right? Yeah? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh, the, stole, the stolen notes? I see. Watson does it again. <laughs> What is the, what's Ooh. the mortal secret? Oh, it's doing something. Okay. Uh, why would Sir Rodney be hiding anything? Could his discovery be the motive for the crime? Okay. Good question. The last expedition. Find, Find out, out where, where Sir Rodney, Sir Rodney was. was several days before his murder. Yeah, we need to we need to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, that is a good idea. <sighs> Let's do that. That's definitely like opening up our. All right. Uh, okay. Such a crime scene. Find the missing weapon. Mm. What's important discovery was Sir Rodney about to make? So we need to, yeah, I need to see if that melted bit of metal is the weapon. How do we... Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. How do we get it, though? We need something to pick it up with. Yeah. Uh, hmm, okay. Should we go back to the baths? Yeah, we could do go back there now that we've spoken to them maybe there's someone else we can talk to there hmm. perhaps per chance hmm. had Roddy not taken a bath in days which made someone kill him <laughs> very stinky man a very stinky boy hmm. this is tricky this because Ooh. this is great this feels like a proper like Agatha Christie mystery Three people locked in a room who done it. Yeah, it is. If one of the boys. All these events are bad for the baths. And, and, it was, and someone got the keys from his desk before they went in. Oh, yeah, know? it was stolen from him, wasn't it? Can we go to any of the other rooms whilst we're here? That's the fridge zone that's, that's being worked on, isn't it? Yeah, let's go have a look. So, Rodney. Oh, this this is area bits. serves as Sir uh -huh. Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. Found to be something useful. Rodney's workshop? Oh, bloody hell. Tools used mm. by archaeologists in their research. Okay. Okay. Ooh, tongs! I need these tongs. <laughs> that will be very Great. helpful indeed for us. Is there anything else I can look at here? We need to do some metallurgic analysis and see what kind of metal is used in that metal chunk. Oh, I'm just really interested in that metal chunk in the fire. I feel like that's like a very key part. Was this like an old Greek shield or something? Ooh, ooh. Or Roman, maybe, an old Roman shield. I guess maybe this was discovered. This metal plate, besides its archaeological interest, appears to pass something larger. Prism around it, able to determine exactly what that might be. What's it? Performed plate. A pre. Perforate. Oh, perforate. Can you examine it again? Uh, okay. uh, do, 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 do. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? Ooh. Oh, we've nicked it. A shape. That has seems been like quite cut. a big thing to just <laughs> walk out with. Yeah. Oh, Archaeological bottle. findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Yes, standard stuff for organs and the like. Oh, you know what happened. Can I pick jars oh, and all that? They'd take out the organs, wouldn't they? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, make sure they're all the there for for the future. Okay. Document. Dear friend, I wish to organise a press conference at the Strand Lane Baths next month. 1893 was a remarkable year for my work in Egypt. Now it is time to set my focus upon English archaeology. That's right. No curses in that. <laughs> <laughs> to shine our light on our national treasures and reveal them to the public. <laughs> 
I would like to see as many journalists in attendance as possible to record this event. And if they record it favorably, then we treat them well enough. But I should like to recall my old friendship with Lord Blackmore, a new special fund of the Royal Archaeological Institute for this event. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So plan. Rodney wanted everyone to come and see. He found something in England. Something really cool, and he wants all the journalists to come look at it. Yeah. Okay. Also, this isn't the 1920s. Just realised this is the 18 something. 1890s. Mm -hmm. Even worse. <laughs> Even a shitter time. There are. Daily, Daily Mirror, go on, you can read this. Uh, there are few among us who could claim any degree of unfamiliarity with the name of Sir Rodney Bentliff. He is a gentleman who possesses the wealth, notor notoriety, and vigor to well match the finest of his ilk abound in England. His intellect is equal to his charms, as has oft been declared by the young ladies of the European aris ar ar aristocracy. 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 Aristo I didn't know what I wanted to say. <laughs> Aristocats. <laughs> the Aristocats. <laughs> oh, no. He holds powerful connections with the Lord's Chamber and carries an influence inside the political world. There are those who would call him unforgiving, author uh, authoritarian. Indeed. We should rather say that Sir Rodney is determined and ambitious. His presence at any archaeological, archaeological site can only mean success for all concerned. Okay, so we've got a very glowing report. Um, Looks great. Yeah. There was an attempt. There, oh, there was an attempt. <laughs> the Aristocats did it. Indeed. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's a great film. Okay. All uh, right, you want to read the Times? Times. Miraculous reopening for Stradlade Roman Baths excavation research. Research was about to be halted when a savior arrived in the form of Sir Rodney Bedcliffe. Heroic adventurer and saviour of Egypt. <laughs> he liberated all sorts of Egyptian artefacts from those bloody foreigners <laughs> and brought them all the way back to good old Britain, where we put them in cages and sold them off and danced with them, took them to the baths, fixed them poorly, and generally shoved them up our asses. Uh, yes. We took a little bit of artistic license with the reading. We <laughs> pledged to update our readers with blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Um, He's taken over immediate control, claiming that the site holds the key to a great My mystery. So it is this site this here, site. somewhere. Wow. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, so his discovery is locally here. Oh, there's going to be something we can connect. You think so? It just g a gay oh. thing came up. Oh, um, it's quick. Whoa. You can, you can, you're spinning, yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, I Effective have, arrival. I have the power. Um, on Pitkin's fight, I think, yeah, because he solved the fight, didn't he? Nice. Yeah. So, either Blinkhorn's humiliation, Blinkhorn's work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney, but at a high cost to his morale, or Blinkhorn's interest. Blinkhorn's work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney. He was thankful for the possibility of their working together and the chance of learning from him. Okay, so we don't really know at the moment. I don't think he... Appreciated it, but mm. an, a, initially, I think he, his work was saved. Mm. I mean, this is what he said when we interviewed him, but he might actually feel that in some. Yeah, we could okay. click one, I Do guess. You think? Yeah, Let's see if it goes anywhere. Boom. Okay. I guess we need more things. There's nothing for it to connect to at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can't go back to not having pressed anything, but let's just leave it like that for the moment. It's got to be one of those two. Okay, let's keep <sighs> investigating. Okay. Some keep... good stuff. So now we know that it's not really linked to Egypt necessarily. Ooh. This discovery is like more localized. Archaeological findings. Yeah. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Stuff on the floor. Ancient Perry Perry sauce, <laughs> Watson. <laughs> For when the Egyptians <laughs> needed to have something to spice up their chips. Needed a flavor party in their mouth. Okay. <laughs> Uh. Glass plate <laughs> negatives, a remarkable method for recording Ooh. ancient civilizations. Ooh, okay. Excellent. Let's have a look at these Let's under the old um, thing. Amy. A glass plate negative is missing. Interesting, Watson. Oh, a mummy. Ooh, that's it is freaky. a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. Not a mummy. Not a mummy. Get back in there. Interesting. Was that 1888? Aswan. So that was where the ring came from. Oh, okay, right, yeah. The Aswan ring. I see, okay. So that was on that, obviously, that expedition that he went off to. Brought the ring back. 
nicked it for himself. And obviously the other man fixed it badly. And the other guy was pissed off because he was like, you're meant to be giving that as, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Rather yes. than keeping it for yourself. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. I think we've seen everything in here. Just going to have a little room Look around, around here the, uh, before we get yeah. the metal. Well, you know, you could find all sorts of exciting Roman ruins. I mean, this place is great. So the, the Egyptians were ancient to the Romans. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, no! My God, are you all right? I wonder how this could have happened. <laughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <clears throat> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the Frigidarium, the coal room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Hmm, someone tried to kill someone Holmes. Someone tried to kill Holmes? How Maybe they did lead him here. Ooh. But how did they make that happen at, at that time? Like, what was that all about? Mm. I think that might have been a Kowinky Dinka... Kowinky Dinky. Kowinky Dinkasaurus. You think so? Those yeah. stones weigh tons. We won't move them. Unless there it was a bomb matter. that they exploded. If our investigation we heard requires it. it, we shall ask for them mm. to be removed. Okay, so we can't go over there. There's got to be something mm. interesting over there. Otherwise, it wouldn't be blocked off. Well, this could be dangerous. I'm always though. wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. I feel like he says that. It's very sort of romantic, the way he, he says that to us. I'm always wondering what's on your mind. It's like you like whisper to a loved one. Okay. What else is in this place, then? So, frigid, frigid, frigidarium. Frigidarium. What's this? That's Exodus. the Exodus. Uh, and this is the other room, yeah, I guess. It. Three rooms. Okay, let's go get that metal. Da -da. Hmm. Oh my god, it's a. It's like a it's like a one of those uh, crane games. Ding 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 ding. Well, how do I? Okay. <laughs> I should analyze this melted metal. Oh, we get to analyze the metal. Oh, I love you doing science. So excited. I love doing metallurgical analysis. Yeah. That's what I'm so excited. That's most. That's what I love most of all, Holmes. That's your thing. Tinkering yeah. around with the smell <laughs> of mercury in my nostrils. Mm. Getting high as a bloody kite. Do you want to do the metal analysis? Well, it's I, your. I, it's your thing. I, 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 I would very much like to. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I'll ooh, leave ooh, this homes. up to you. Vegetarium. Uh, Vegetarium. Put, a, put, I'll a put this piece of hot metal in my pocket as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it would just burn right through. All right, here you go. Uh, Skidura says, good morning, <gasps> Holmes and Watson. Good morning, Skidura. Good morning. Verting says, Lewis, I love you. Aww. Thank you. Very lovely. Whitlock says, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Uh, see Mitch 93 is good. Love you guys. Also, during this inspection, I'm picturing an awkward moment when you're audibly judging the width <laughs> yeah. two inches from his face. Yeah. Very wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> Very poor and dirty. Spotty. <laughs> <laughs> Greasy skin. Oh, wow. We've got so There's much so to do. There's so many things to analyze. The dirt sample. Hmm. Uh, dummy Kid, thank you for resubscribing as well. And for Drump, also resubscribe. Hi, right. Otherwise known as fool's Ooh. gold. Oh. So. Selenite. Wow, this looks weird. White, White clay, clay particles. Interesting. According to the color and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. Right. Wow, look, it's right in the middle there. Ooh, bam. The sample of dirt belongs to the White London Clay region, so located cool. near the city of St. Albans. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, analyze, analyze the... So, analyze okay, that does thing. that mean that's where... Is St. Albans an old Roman town? Yes. Because they did like to have build towns near baths. They loved their baths. They loved a bath. They loved the hot spring. They loved a bit of warm steam. Lo a lovely Let us warm analyze this steam. blood sample. It's bloody. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's got a fucking weird thing in what it. What is that? What is that? What is that? This blood has not coagulated well. It seems very liquid. Huh. That is strange. 
Let us see what is inside it. Well, hydrogen peroxide will yeah. bring any foreign matter Anti to the surface. Anticoagulant. That's Aspirin. that's sometimes how you can. I must yeah. take a pipette and. Oh, I must take a pipette. Okay. Let us well, see what is like inside. Lovely science. <laughs> Everyone loves a little bit of science. <laughs> Suck it up. Okay. Oh, this is very strange. So have you, oh, have drop, you got it now? Drop high. Maybe I have to drop more. Oh, how bizarre. What's happening right now? I don't know. I'm dripping <laughs> drops of hydrogen peroxide all over it. I'm not really doing anything, am I? How bizarre. What am I, What kind of science is this? Oh! There we go. Why are you covering it in... Oh. Water. This blood is heavily Ooh. diluted with water. What? Steam? Water? Steam? Steamy water? What? <laughs> what? What? So we found the blood underneath the This blood the is heavily was, diluted with water. But it was watery blood. Well, I mean, it was the steam. It was must steam have, room. Could have been just watery yeah. water. It doesn't mean that he bled. This water. is a piece of metal taken from a brain. Extremely brazier. hydrated. It appears to be silver. Drank a lot of water. I need to be sure. If it silver. is silver, <gasps> it will be possible to melt it. Since oh, this is what we found. Okay. melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Let us compare this hot. sample with a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. Well, this is actually quite close to. I reality. must take a. Pip oh, my bad. Let's take a pipette. Safety take a pipette. Test. Safety test. And pipette several little bits of acid onto the metal piece. That's right. It turns red. And if this turns red, then it is also silver. Interesting. The reaction is the same red stain. It is it silver. Is silver. Britannia silver quality. So it, I think it was the knife melted down. It's getting really evidence. My analysis. Who do we know who works with melted silver? My work. Nobody? My analysis table. It they is useful for silver. my work. He did to fix the ring. Arrow. Oh, shit, of course. <gasps> There's a reason that you're Holmes and I'm Watson. <gasps> Bloody Garrow did. Of course he did. Of course, of course. Um, All he repaired was silver. So he could have made possibly a silver ring. Dropped on that. Uh, tech, tech, tech tight GB resubscribed says yeet. Yeet to you too. Yeet indeed. Yeet indeed. Severals, RIP. Thank you for resubscribing as well. Yeet indeed. Pl uh, oh, I've done that one. I'm getting mm. confused. Pleroma resubscribed and said, Cowabunga chat. Cowabunga indeed. Mm, cowabunga <laughs> chat. Cowabunga. Cowabunga <laughs> chat. <laughs> Hmm. I'm going to go and chat to any of these guys. Sinister, RT yeah. Toxic as well. Thank you. And Joel Panda. Thank you very much. Energetic Bum. Lovely resubscription. Thank you. And A.H. Kieran donated $5. Thank you. And said, hey, Lulu, I've been sub for three years now. Can I unsub yet? Have I paid back the many years of free entertainment yet? Much Absolutely. Love <laughs> much love to both you and the darling Lydia. Thank I've you so much, H. Darling, Kieran. before. Thank you. You're, 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 you. You've done it. You've, 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 you've done it. it. You've done it. I'll send you your free <laughs> uh, loyalty badge. <laughs> what is it? Didn't people used to do that? Like, oh, not on YouTube, but like you know, you, if you were like a long time supporter, and you did something. You, you, you get like a. Like oh, a remember like fan clubs on magazines. Please escort this mm. suspect. You like to be part of like the Sonic like Comic fan like club. Like the fan club. Yeah, yeah they sent you like club. a little certificate. That's that shit was cool. Listen about this melted silver. Ooh. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Why would they put melted Did silver? You put it there? No. Silver. Surely he would think no, it's melted. What was it originally? Right. Let's talk to old greasy boy. Please Pick escort. <laughs> Do you know about this melted silver? Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver. No. I didn't expect you would. Just double checking. I think it's this fellow. Please. Should know. 
Mm. Now, don't you lie to me. Yeah, greasy boy. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? It didn't help. The power is too strong. Oh, he's bloody crazy, isn't he? Can't get any sensible answer out of him. What are you fucking talking about, mate? Fucking what? Lay off the sodding John's wart. Blue Peter badge. Oh, Blue race. Peter badge. Yeah. I was on Blue they Peter were one. supposed to be very rare, weren't they? Yeah, they were. They only gave them out, like, to guests or whatever. So, like, gold stuff. Um, okay. Hmm. All right. I'm missing weapon, but we thought this was the weapon. Hmm. What do we do, Lydia? What do we do? Okay, let's think this through. What about finding the dirt in that area? Can we go to that area? Or St. Albans. Yeah, can we go to St. Albans and give us that option? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't think so. Oh, yes, let's go to the mind map. There might be something else we can connect. Yeah, the mind map. Let's some mind mappage. So we could do... Oh. I reckon what was inside the brazier caused the wound, but that doesn't work. Um, oops. Do you reckon the... Um, what about brazier and broken glasses? Okay. So that's an item of silver that's been recently melted. Okay. Possible silver weapon. Yes, that's what I think. I think that. Champagne stolen in its very liquid blood. Would that be a strange wound? Have you done? Oh, we just did that one. No. Did we? No. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't think like this. Interesting. Okay. Well, we know that there's a possible silver weapon. I feel like that's quite a big, quite a big discovery. And remember, chat, if you know what the answer is, don't don't say, don't tell us. Yeah, I don't want to do sp no, no, no spoiler spoilers. No spoilerino. Like little, little hints. Like no spoilers. Um, hmm, Watson. We don't have many leads here. Yeah, we don't. Back, we? So what we're supposed to do, sorry, we're supposed to discover a bit more about Sir Rodney Bancliff. So let's head back to the... Head his back to the bus. I just want to see, like... Let's double check his office in like that area down there. Could we ask them to remove all the de debris that blew up? Yeah. What have we got? Mm. Ah, there we go. A strange wound of very liquid blood. Would champagne go with... See, this is what we're talking about. So this is the thing we talked about just a second ago. Do we say the presence of the water is due to the humid atmosphere? Oh, wait, how did you just get that? I just licked the, the the blood with the strange wound. Oh, I see. Okay. But, yeah. So the presence of water is due to the humid atmosphere caused by the steam. The presence of water in the blood is an unexplained clue. Okay, let's say it's unexplained at the moment. Oh, I reckon it's the steam. It's got to be, right? You're saying it's an unexplained clue. Just at the moment, until we get a bit hmm. more info. Okay, that's all linking up nicely. What else do you say, Champagne. Champagne and... Oh, no. He's, uh, no, never mind. He just did it. Champagne mm. for the effect of... A, no. Mm. Mm. Remarkable discovery, champagne. Oh, this feels like it should be, shouldn't it? What is the... So they keep going banging on about champagne. Like, what is that? What is the... I just reckon it's nothing. I just think it's a red herring. Yeah, it's just... just a, so literally, broadly. he bought champagne because it was a celebration. Yeah, I think so. And the game's trying to confuse us. All right. Let's have a wonder... Boop, boop, boop. Bam, bam, bam. So this is Rodney Beckham's office. Fresh this. We've, we've checked everything here, right? So it should all be green. What was that random shield we picked up? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. The hole in it. It's massive as well. Is there somewhere we can... Well, this is just the dead it. end. There's no doors or anything here. Just a, just a dead a end. Miserable... Can you, just um, a bloody dead end. Well, we just searched the archives, okay. Oh, the archives. And search the map. Map search, yes. Oh. North of London. So can we do that? 
Found on the map at Baker Street. Okay, so we do need to go to our archives. All right, let's let's go back to Baker Street. Back, back to Baker Street. All right, so we need to search our archives and the other thing. All right. Okay. We can have a look through those after the break. Is yeah. the chips here, Steve? Do we have chips? Are there chips? When it, when it, when are the chips coming? This means that when I we think finish, we, should wait we don't have to wait. Out. Yeah, we want to eat when it's hot. We need to time it. Although yeah. you don't want cold, cold chips. chips. You don't want cold chips. Cold chips are the worst. Well, they're not going to be delivered at two, are they, Steve? That's far too late. Everyone's no, no, everyone will be starving and right. fighting, hungry. No, um, I think we should hold out because cold chips. I think chips we should hold out. Rubbish. Okay, we're going to carry on playing then, next yeah. Steve. We've decided. We've made a decision. <laughs> you know the, the boss of us, Steve. <laughs> we're not taking a break yet. Well, don't be surprised if Thank Watson you, sits on. You're going to run some ads anyway. <laughs> okay, fine, Steve. Do it anyway. I don't mind. Um, if you want to not have ads, you can sub up. But lots of people have subbed, so thank you for everyone who subbed. Dale Crew, Zanderin, Zadarin, Energetic Bum, <laughs> Joel Panda, Sinister Toxic, Crazy Cool Kookaburra. Thank you, everyone. Um, here we go. Bryn Famous, Arcade One with Six. Thank you. I've read everything. I've read all of it. If you want to donate as well, go for it. But now you're watching um, ads, I guess. Sorry. So let's look <laughs> in. Yeah, art and architecture. So we should be able to find here. In one of these pages, something about yeah. this. That is not the one I need. That is not that the one I need. One no, I no, need. go to the next page. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, we do need art and architecture. Yeah. Surely it would be architect I art and architecture. It was a remarkable year for my work in Egypt. Is there any, like, ge geography, like, ah, ancient that Egypt? That is not the one oh. I need. What? Right. That is not the one right. I need. Cocaine toothache drops. Maybe it was news, so we should go to the newspapers. Okay. For 1893. Uh, 1893. Okay. Ben Cliff's, Cliff's mummy. mummy. Oh, my gosh. This is it. This is it. Oh, my God. This is huge. <gasps> the great exca exca excavation in Ass... Ass... Yuan. Your ass has taken over three years. So, Rodney... Bentcliff directed the archaeological work. A mummy was found with an enucleated. enucleated eye. I've never even seen that word before. And posed in an unusual position. The right hand was tense <gasps> as if reaching out for something. What does someone? That's how he died. That's how he died. His eye was enucleated. And he was right hand tense reaching out for something. Oh, my God. Okay, so someone recreated it. Uh, the mummy was buried upright. <gasps> she has been named the like desperate mummy. Due to her very peculiar characteristics. Nobody could read in Latin by the eye. Nearby he could be read. In oh, Latin. nearby. Sorry. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Nobody could read Nobody Latin. Nobody could read it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could read Latin. <laughs> I need my peri peri. Nearby could be read in Latin by the eye. He was punished for what he saw. For what he saw, what he was not worthy. Oh, the curse. The mummy is believed to be Roman rather than Egyptian, as some symbols found in the tomb are in common with the Mithraic mysteries. Mithraic. Mithraic. So Mithra, Mithra is uh, ancient religion, predating Roman. I can't remember. Um, so it's like, it's like a paganism, sister, Steve. Yeah, that's where we get Christmas from. It was, the pag it was the Mithras was the festival on December the 25th and but Christianity what? wanted to like what about Jesus? bring everyone over. Well, what the thing is Jesus? like what you've got is you've got a load of people and pagans believing in this thing and having this celebration every year that they like yeah. on the 25th of December. Yeah. So when Christianity came along, they were like, well, we've, we, we, we keep that. That's yeah. Jesus's birthday as that's well. Yes, yeah, so that's when old J Jesus popped along. So, you know, it's like it fits in with their... Um. Thing and everyone was like, okay, they're still having a festival on the 25th. Sure, let's carry on. Yeah, with it yeah. Then. Do you know what I mean? They, well, they weren't like, Ooh. you know, when you have to sell people on something, yeah. you need to like give them some. Right, so it's still the same day. Yeah, they still same get day. to a party. You still get to party. You still get to give people gifts and shit. It's all fun. Get to drink this Coke. It's about Santa Jesus. still comes. Um, and then there's the tree. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, it was Saturnalia, is the other thing that's a big deal. Yeah, I think that was, um, that was not, was that Mithras? I don't remember. So basically, Rodney directed this work. They found a mummy that had its eyes squished and was in an unusual position. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, so that's also how he died. Um, she was, uh, Latin said, nearby, by the eye, he was punished for what he saw, what he was not worthy. 
And then he's no, killed in no, the same no. way. By the eye, he was punished oh, for he God, I saw... Can't, can't read. I think I need another coffee. For he saw... For he saw what he was not worthy. Okay, from now on you read things because I, I yeah. just can't. I'm illiterate. Um, You've added extra words. It's easy. I just, yeah, okay. The mummy's believed to be Roman mm. rather than Egyptian. And that's why he's at the Roman baths. All right. And is killed there. Here it is. We did it. We did it. Bloody hell. It took a while. By the eye he was punished for he saw that he was not worthy. Dreadful. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Kid brought glasses, never uses them. I well, know. He, but Watson said it wrong there. He said, for he saw that he was not worthy. For he saw what he was not worthy. Mm, maybe this is like... Okay. My archive. I can always Interesting. Very interesting. We need the map of London. Is this it? To find out... Uh, we need to get a scene. Now we have two it? maps. We must combine them properly. Oh, shit. You're right. Now, of course, this is the, oh. this is the St. Talbot's Junction. Lydia, would you like to do this bit? Oh, sure. Why not? Okay. Um, can I... Let me see what I'm doing. Right. St. Albans. Where are we on, in London at the moment? Marble. Okay, so... Shit. Where hmm. is that? Uh, I guess we want to look for that square with the foot, two footpaths, maybe. Square with two footpaths. And a big chunky boy here. Oh, there it is. It's down there. Down here? On the right. Oh, Top yeah. whale. Oh, here. Yeah, there that Watson looks like Packers it. Watson bag. We are visiting a location in St. Albans marked on Sir Rodney's map. It's kicking off. It's kicking off. St. Albans, yes. It's out in the countryside. Crikey. Oh, no. What is it, Lydia? Uh, I think I just I just can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to school with you, Watson. <laughs> Watson misread it like Lydia. <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, there's a reason I'm Watson and, and Lewis is Holmes. <laughs> Archaeological field. Ooh. Site is closed till further notice, Watson. Do, do, would you like to control this? Okay. Are you sure you do want to take over? No, I this? think you should take... Okay. Well, uh, well, it's okay, fine. Mind you, you I'll take over for a little bit. Been for a moment. Just a little bit. Why did Bentcliffe puts off gla Puts on glasses to read. Squints, takes them off and squints to read. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> I just... Why am I like this? Just I don't want to wear my glasses. I don't want to wear my glasses. I'll just squint at everything. <laughs> don't squints have more evolved eyes than we do? Well, apparently... They don't have a blind spot, right? We have a blind spot. I've had some kind of evolution. Whereas they don't have problem. a blind spot. Yeah. They have be literally better evolved eyes. Really? They can just. It's one of the proofs that. Um, that, 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 that. That. Oh my gosh. What's he discovered? Oh my Jesus. <gasps> a a cyclone? With, no, with one eye. It's her. A one eyed woman. A bearded woman. Bearded one eyed woman. <gasps> it's Doddy. <laughs> Domum Hadriano. Fucking. What is all this Latin? This is the map of the site. We are at the heart of an old Roman city. Amazing. How exciting. What's this? Oh my gosh. Followers <gasps> of Mithras were covert, worshipping more conventional deities such as Juno or Neptune in their everyday lives. Mithras temples were usually found below the temples of other gods. Mithras followers often referred to their traditional deities to gain passage to the Mithraeum. Mm. Example of the Mithraeum of Do Doyo Dio, in France is interesting. The entrance was located beneath this calf statue of Diana. <gasps> oh my Ooh, gosh. so there's a lot of like. This entrance was possibly revealed by a clever stone and rope mechanism, which may never have been discovered if the water infiltration had not destroyed the mechanism, opening the way. Mithraic temples can be found in Rome, Ostia, Numidia, Dalmatia, Britain. And along the Rhine Danube frontier, while some being somewhat less common in Greece, Egypt, and Syria. A hidden Mithras temple. How interesting it was. This is bloody crazy, Holmes. So is 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 we are we gonna find out someone's like a secret devout Follower. The cult of Mithras was a mysterious religion pressed within the Roman Empire from around the 1st to 4th century AD. The name of the Persian god Mithra, adopted by the Greek as Mithras, was linked with new and distinctive imagery. 
Worship is a complex system of seven grades of initiation with ritualistic meals. Initial study in the underground temples that were retained in large numbers. The iconic scenes show of Mithra show him as being born from a rock and slaughtering a bull. Toro Octoni. I like the way he's tall. Yeah. Hmm. More stuff. Toro Octony knife. Knife used by Mithras for the Toro Octony sacrifice of the bull. It's originally a <gasps> Curved. Carved. Sacrificial, Sacrificial blade. blade. Curved. <laughs> <laughs> carved. Curved. It's carved. Carved. No, no, from five breed. Carved. Maybe I should it's from the Persian head. word shamshir, which obviously is related to all the other stuff. The myth of the golden knife is the key to the Mithraic mysteries that some describe as an equivalent to the Holy Grail. There's the Holy Grail. Oh my god, it's Do you it reckon came. he thinks he found the Holy <gasps> Grail? Possibly. It's never been found, is it? It's a mythical thing. The golden knife carries a curse mm. that will spill the blood mm. of the unworthy who would dare to touch it. Wow, this is this is some complicated fucking it shit. It is, right isn't here. it? And I also agree with you, Reds and T. I used to I love the Broken Sword games. I loved it when they had all that kind of like this shit going down. And the empty coconuts that they use to imitate the sounds of horses' hooves. Another strange ritual for the old gods to keep the spirits away. The people feeling that the dark eye was upon them <laughs> melt <laughs> their valuables <laughs> in the fire. Sub-Saharan tribes burn fruits and the rich Roman families spent no offense, melting silver or tin. Mm. Hang on a second. Mm. So do you think that maybe ritualistic man, superstitious, has read this, thinks I need to melt some, I need to burn some silver mm -hmm. in this fire to get rid of the mm -hmm. curse of the mummy. The crazy guy. The crazy guy. The so crazy guy. someone else killed him and he thought, he's cursed, I don't want the curse to get me. Yeah. And then he threw the silver knife in the brazier. Ooh. So it might not have been him who did the killing because he's a soft, softy, softy kid. Greasy boy. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Maybe, or maybe he is like one of these culty people. <laughs> Crazy the cult boy. of Mithras. He worships the secret Maybe. Mithras. Super secret. I don't think they are like a cult still around today. They're but very. You never know. He could be keeping it going. He could be have a fan club for it, where he sends out badges. Like Blue Peter. Just like Blue Peter. Triclinium. Oh, this looks very unstable, Watson. This is very dangerous. Look at this one-eyed fresco. Bloody Ooh. hell. What a fucking... The what Cyclops, a one-eyed creature helping Vulcan at the forge. Oh, Vulcan. Oh. Vulcan, the god of fire and metalworking. That's where you get Vulcanized rubber from, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Vul Vulcan is always like this name used to describe Latin. Used to, yeah, it must be... I didn't know. I don't know much about the Roman gods and stuff. Area 2 piece. I don't need the ropes for now. Bloody pits. Let's go down. Oh my gosh. What the? Excavating tools, a bucket, shovel, and brush. Well, we'll... Take him. Take him, shall we? Let's do some excavations, Lydia. Yes! I don't need the ropes for now. We might do in a fucking second. But we, have to <laughs> we have thought about that. Might as well pick it up now and save us some time. No? Yes? I guess we're not going down there. Is that a skull? Oh, it does the look fuck? like a just human. A just human a human skull, skull lying, lying in there. the dust. Just merrily. No, not interesting, Watson. Oh, no, this oh. murder's centuries old. <laughs> Very boring, Ooh. Watson. Very boring. He keeps pointing out the ropes, but he just he won't pick them up. Well, not until we find somewhere to go down to, Watson. Is this a fucking hat? No. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Milady? <laughs> of Roman fucking oh, is this the Arch? The Roman Milady. The Arch of Hadrian, of course. Mm. Hadrian, big on walls. I much like the, the Trump wall. of his day. Yeah. <laughs> Keep those Scottish fuckers out. <laughs> and make them pay for it. Bloody Scots <laughs> taking our jobs. <laughs> coming over here, doing the things we don't want to do. Rams is coming over today. Assholes. Goddamn Scottish Rams. What's this here? 
Arturus Domum. Ooh. More fucking books and shit. <laughs> so many. Bray Lord Blackmore, the manager of the bar, Sir Gregory Pitkin, was quite a nuisance at the start when I arrived. After you stepped in, he became rather more helpful. Occasionally, people of his rank are not well suited to work of such great magnitude. They lack the necessary vision. In a few weeks' time, I hope to bring good news to the Strand Lane Baths. I'm on the verge of discovering a major archaeological artifact, one that might be used politically by your party to demonstrate the strength of our ancestors and to fulfill the need to protect our empire from any present and future threats. So interesting. What? Okay. Um, well, there were some Roman excavations done in Cologne uh, by... The, just, I think just before the sort of um, World War II period mm. and they unveiled all these Roman things they had a lot of um, the swastika shape mm. um, but because that was used historically all over the place that, yeah. that symbol yeah. and um, yeah I think it, it was obviously adopted by the Nazis because of its historical relevance and sort of gives legitimacy but also they sort of I don't know it's, it's weird isn't it? it's like the eagles and stuff they adopted a lot of these symbols that were so, so symbols of be co-opted throughout history mm. for different reasons. Mm. Sometimes they're ruined forever. Yeah, you can't. It's never gonna. <laughs> you're never gonna see that and be like, oh, "Love that shot." You know, oh my gosh, love that design. What did it originally mean? The swastika. Uh, the swastika. I don't yeah. remember actually. Someone will know. It's like, um, yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, let's. It's like, um, it's like there's like a bar in London which is called Isis, and it's named after the god, the Egyptian god. But you can never see that bar now and without thinking Isis that's a that's an unfortunate name <laughs> yeah that will go away though in time probably yeah, I think yeah. the Nazis have a little bit more yeah. sticking power yeah. in history maybe that's true I don't know Pitkin's worries Pitkin feels rather uncomfortable postponing the public opening of the world because of so he was angry so we've got a choice either Pitkin the, the, the posh guy thinks that believes believes Rodney or is angry about Rodney because I think he feels rather uncomfortable postponing the public opening. He was angry, or Pitkin expects to receive much of value from the research. This work would increase. Hmm. In the spy organization in Archer was also called ISIS. I was watching that as I got ready this morning. A little bit of Archer. He does seem angry. Yeah, he does seem like a bit of an asshole as well. Um, it's in uh, Swastikas is in used in Indian religions, specifically in uh, Hinduism, Buddhism. Oh, I've lost it. Uh, ah, was it? It's the sacred symbol of auspiciousness. 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 Yeah, in Japan it denotes Buddhist temples, not Shinto. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I think they they are, they can be like the other way round and have dots and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Calvin, Hobbes, and Calvin you. Calvin and Hobbes. Consider yourselves being blah blah blah. What is that? Just a little reference, maybe. It must be. Hobbes and you consider yourselves being so smart and funny. I had a good laugh when you froze Miss Durkin's notes about the Arch of Hadrian in the ice. Oh, our thesis exam is just ahead. And as you are the so-called brain of the improbable duo, I have to warn you that my gastrophetes model, the ancient Greek crossbow, not the medical device to relieve constipated <laughs> people, uh, is not to be touched. Okay, so that's not... Wait, 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 wait. Not to be touched for Mr. Wormwood about everything you've done these past two years. It's just a... Yeah, it's just a, a reference to Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, I see, right. Um... So this was this message here was from Sir Rodney Bentcliffe to Lord Blackmore. Um, obviously, they don't like each other, and maybe, you know, obviously, maybe Rodney Bentcliffe doesn't care about mm -hmm. delaying the opening of the baths. Well, they said in those uh, in those chats that he was very arrogant this and is a oh, difficult to work of an with. Ancient Greek crossbow. This mm. is a re. Okay, so there's objects of interest in this, these things, like a crossbow and a, and a rope. I think we're going to have to probably do it like an experiment. Go like down it. somewhere. What is this? A river. Mm. <laughs> this is the map of the site. 
We are at the heart of an old Roman city. Okay, we're at a Roman the city. Gas buffets were used with ropes and hooks for sieges. Ooh, do you think we're going to have to reenact that? Yes, I think so. I think we're going to have to. This is very lovely, isn't it? Well, I think we're going to have to get ourselves that crossbow and that rope. And the rope. And fire it across that river. <gasps> yes. It is a broken statue of a bull. Of a bull. Interesting. What does Watson do when we're off doing Neptune, all this shit? The god of the sea. Juno, the god of tits. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, god of cooking. Minerva. <laughs> god of <It> wine. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, Am I being sexist? <laughs> yes! <laughs> that's why I threw a thing at your face. Well, they, they weren't exactly very subtle people, were they? Like, goddess of fertility and stuff, you know. I mean, hooks. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Watson. He just stands there awkwardly. <sighs> <laughs> God of tits. <laughs> Watson. Have you found something interesting? Well, I think I have, but uh, at the same time, this is quite a big area, and it won't let me pick up anything. This is a really, yeah. I don't need don't the ropes. Wow. I feel like I know what I want to do. Right, let's do it. We need to find this important fucking... It's definitely something here. There's lots of stuff here, isn't there? Yeah. I think there's something we haven't... Are we going down there? How do we get down there? I think oh yeah. There. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. That's all right, Hems. Thank you for the uh, support. Uh, uh, yes, look at this. Ah, uh, we're getting the tea. This wall was covered with mud recently. Ooh. What could be hidden here? Let's use some alcohol for you. Oh, very lovely. Let's just smug this off here. Frigidarium. Frigid or oh, frigidarium. Frig. Look it smells like we're really ruining oh, it's it. It's just bloody scratching bar. away with it. Oh. Ah, look at that. Oh, look <gasps> at this wonderful this thing. Lovely. This is what was drawn in this notebook, wasn't it? This thing. Why is it all... Okay. Anyway, I think Quite satisfying. I think we've done it pretty I good. I can see now. Yes. Yes, yes. There's a man having a bath. Yes, very. And some gods of various things, like tits. <laughs> And a frigidarium, of course. I prayed to the pity god. It is located god. at the Roman <laughs> Baths nice. in London. Someone took the time to hide the fresco, but what for? I need to visit this place. The frigidarium has the temple of Mithras underneath it. Yeah. So someone's covered that with mud and blown up the... It was That was a bit blown up, right? We can get in. So something very important is there. Yes. So we need to head back there, by the look, straight away. Straight away. Right bloody away. Get over there now. Right, you can take over. This is your oh. stuff. I'm the archaeologist and the scientist. You're the you're the chump. Wander around with this. Yes. Yeah, you're the person who has to help us do the bits where we get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we're going to ask them. I'm assuming we can ask them to move away all the all the bricks and shit so we can get in. Mr. Holmes, the uh -huh. Holmes. corridor to You've the done it for us already. You Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Excellent news, Mr. Phillips. Well done. That didn't take very long to move that ton of rock, <laughs> yeah, did it? That must have been, I would have assumed, actually, it would have been a bloody massive rock getting that done. a little trip out to St. Albans, and by the time I returned... It's all done. Fucking bloody well done there it. There we go. There's going to be something. So, so this was... I assume this... Well, wow, it's pristine. Is this blown up, do you think? Oh, yeah. It's like fallen in from above. Ooh. Oh. Helmet. Helmet? Push. Push. Perhaps Push I could find some clues by activating the flagstones. Ooh, puzzle time. We got into a puzzle. I love it when there's a puzzle. Okay. That's one. Uh huh. There's a ship. It's not a very hard puzzle. You just wander around pushing the buttons. But well, we might have to press a certain button. Ooh, in an order. One eyed face. The old cyclops. Oh. Ooh. A hidden symbol. Oh, is it? Is that telling me I wonder what order I have to do it in or something? All right, mm. so I'm just going to 
wander around. Maybe you only have to press the ones with the hidden symbol. Maybe. Okay. A wreath. Got one over there? No? Man, have here? you been to the baths in Bath? I went when I was much younger, when I was like a 12 or something. You should like go that. again. It's a lot like this, actually. Yeah. It looks, the, the, the main bath is like this. Uh, it looks a lot like this, except for without the statue. The statue's kind of up. Yeah. Um, but man, it looks it looks great. You're not allowed to swim in it because it has um, the brain-eating bacteria, brain-eating vi fungus thing. Eek. It's called like, um, it's called amoeba, something amoeba. Um, yeah, brain-eating amoeba. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I wonder if anyone like says, screw the rules, and then get their brain all chomped. It's, uh, yeah, well, I think it, someone died like 20 years ago or something. It's, I think you have uh, to, it's not likely, you won't die from swimming in it, but yeah, it's Yeah, there's a chance you could catch it. Yeah, um, they can cause meningitis, yeah, 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 yeah. Which you obviously have sort of had potential problems with, haven't you? Didn't you almost get meningitis? Well, they thought I had meningitis oh. when I went to the hospital, but thankfully I didn't, so that's good. Just, oh, look, sure. well, there's a symbol, look. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, I do really want to go a to the, the Roma Bath again because it. I think Bath is just so pretty, and the the fact that all this stuff is there and still, you know, preserved and everything. Did you have you been recently? Yeah, yeah, I went like with my parents about oh. a year ago. It's really good. Mm. Really nice, nice day out, far yeah. walking around. And it's I recommend not that far. it. You yeah. get there, like, it's a bit touristy, but like actually, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. It wasn't too, too, too much. Nice in the summer. Look at all these bug boys. Yeah, they're all just running around. Right, so... Uh, one there, I think. You missed. Go back. Oh, there's one there? I think so. Oh, yeah. Spider. Right, well, we've pressed all of them. And nothing happened. Okay, uh... But do we pull the ones back that have the symbol? Is that a good way to start? Let's have a look at the symbol again. Oh, that wasn't you. Get away! If we pull the ones back that have the symbol, possibly... A symbol. See what I mean? Yeah. There's only two of them that have a symbol. So does that mean we only push two of them? Do you only push the ones that have a symbol? Or do we push back the ones that have a symbol? But it feels like the symbol is telling us how to perhaps how to push them. So let me go look at the other one. Yeah. Ooh, which was one it that one? That was this one. This one. A hidden symbol. Let me a look, hidden stay symbol. looking at it. Don't go back. Yeah, look at that weird. It just goes. Burp. I have no idea what that's trying to say. Well, it could mean press two buttons, walk around the bath, and it goes to a place. You know. Um, okay, I think. Uh, do you want to push that one back as well? I'm just checking. I haven't missed any. Was there another one? That one's done. Keep going round. Oh. Done. That one's got symbols as well, yeah. Done, that one's not got anything on it. That one that you just walked past has a symbol. But that's pushed. No, but you want to pull them all back. Do you know what I mean? But so I Go back, go back to that one, you maniac. What are I, you doing? I'm crazy. So you want me to pull all of these back again? Yeah. Oh, it's got a symbol as well. Okay, so I think we're going to have to push all the ones with symbols and okay. pull I back all the ones it. without. You know what I mean? Because it's like... So now keep the I symbol... Have all the clues to help me find where these symbols are leading. All I need is imagination. <laughs> okay, so... Okie dokie. Press F then, I guess. Imagination. Oh, oh my whoa, good lord. Whoa, whoa. Sure. Oh, it's like the other puzzles, but a bit more uh, crazy. Oh, we got to connect them all together. I guess so. Um, wait, can I? What the fuck? Look at that. Could... What? <laughs> I am confused. Oh, here we go. And then this one goes here. No, it needs to be a bit... 
What? <laughs> what yeah, am I? Yeah, I think it's close. Uh. I think you're probably right. About right. Go a bit further around. No, like, like not that far. Like there. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it's triggering anything though. Hmm. I like the idea of what you're thinking though here. And what, this just goes off into oblivion. Yeah, but I like that it points to the statue. That makes sense to me. Like that you see what I mean? statue. Yeah. Like the statue probably is what we're looking for, I reckon. I see. That bust. But it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's right cuz that doesn't quite fit. It should be blending. Yeah, this one doesn't quite Well, get that fit. bit closer and then turn turn it so that blends. Yeah. Get these Who's, who's your imagination? Young Lydia. Young. The signs are pointing oh, yeah. to this bus. But. Elementary. Ooh, elementary, my dear. Okay, so it looks like we didn't have to. F I'm glad we didn't have to faff around. I was thinking we we're going to have to, like, read the signals and do things in different Oh, why did you have to press T? Do you? Uh, it came up on the screen. Did it? Yeah. You better go to the uh, the bus. Was then. it on the other side? I believe so. Oh, it's over there. It's actually it's, it's glowing. the glowing one. It's bloody glowing. Elementary, my Ele dear Watson. Bloody elementary. There we go. Yeah, it's just spin it round. Of course, why not? Priceless. The fuck are we doing? What? Well, it's we've done something good. Some sort of secret Ooh. chamber. Rodney's last expedition. Okay, where opened? Where did open? Where did opened? <laughs> where did opened? Uh, da, 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 da. God, I love a stone wall that <laughs> moves, don't you, Lydia? I I love them, Lewis. I can't bloody get enough, love can't a get stone of them. wall. Here we go. We're gonna need some rope and a fucking crossbow and a. We left it. What fucking. Is this place? We left it. I'm unsure, Watson. But everything oh, yeah, points to the fact that it was the last place visited by Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Holy we are shit. approaching the end of this mystery. And we will celebrate We're with champagne and peri peri and chips. Peri -peri chips. A sack of crude salt. For chips. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm so excited about these chips. A sack of Is it chip time yet, Steve? Trippy time. A I've only had I had broccoli bed. for breakfast. What is it doing here? This is the bloody I one missing. Baker Street. This is the bloody one missing from that. It that from Sir Rodney. Very peculiar. Fuck fuck An faces. Fuck fuck faces. Why would Sir Rodney have brought such a device here? For champagne. From delicious champagne. An ice maker. Ooh. Maybe he stubbed his toe. Ice Potentially. On it. Oh Jesus! Ooh. Look at this boy. This looks like a bit weird. Mithras, the god, <gasps> clothed in Anatolian costume glory. and wearing a Phrygian cap, killing the bull. Phrygians. The <laughs> Phrygian. This fresco resembles either a ladder or a hierarchy. Yes. Ooh, okay. So the initiation grades of the cult of Mithras. You have to start off as a bird, or. A cup or a thingy and you get converted into a worm or a burr, smaller tiny burb or another worm and then you turn into a spear a helmet or a bird jug <laughs> and then you turn into a shovel a sort of honey roasted thingy delicious. pork or an ant and then you become a curved sword with uh -huh. a curve on it okay. or eyes out. a moon or a, moon. a scythe and then you become a fishing, fishing rod, uh, a lucky horseshoe um, oh. necklace, <laughs> or a torch on the wall. And, and then, then finally, <laughs> you ascend to the role of pie, <laughs> or stick, or weird hat, or dumb sword. I can't wait to be a pie one day. One I'm day, Lydia, to you too could if ascend I pray enough, to the Mithran. In I can become the pie. Well, this is a bit fucking spooky. Watson? A bit spooky? I'm spooked. Does he just stand fucking there spooked. in the dark watching you? Watson's such a creep. Look at, Ooh, look at all this. Fucking... It's like the um, catacombs in Paris. Jesus. Ooh. What? Brushwood. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're going to light the this fucking place up. The fire casts a shadow upon the floor. 
Looks like a scullita. It is the, the golden scullita. No, it is a Taurus bull. It oh. resembles a bull. Excellent news. It resembles. <laughs> Good. Let's light some more of these fucking things, shall we? Delicious Lydia pie. Oh shit me! This fucking skeleton boy. Dead boy. Why are we paying oh, so dreadful. many? Judging by the broken orbit, this dead poor fellow met a death similar to Sir Rodney's. No Ooh. fucking way. So is it like it's a it's a It is um, a curse. This shoe is not from it's the Roman era. It's their it sacrifice. Is medieval at best. Maybe. So it's their way this of sacrificing man was a tomb raider who I think it was crazy boy. Oh, it's the initiation ceremony the initiation for the cult of myth. For, punished, for he saw that he was not worthy. Aha, uh -huh, by the eye he was punished. I think it's crazy boy. Fucking Watson, don't spook up on me like that, you <laughs> twat. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Let's, let's light this place up. This fucking boy here. Mummified bodies. We are in some type of catacomb. Holy shit. This one's fucking epic, Lydia. Oh my god! What's this? Face? Fucking freaky face. The pillar collapsed a long time ago. Sorry. Shit. Important. F! F it up! Hang on, I'm gonna just fire this freaky. one. freaky. Just gonna fire this bad boy as well. No fucking. Oh, yes, that's oh. what it would have looked like. Sherlock. Perforated plate. Oh, lovely! That thing we conveniently nicked earlier and have been carrying around with us this whole bloody time. It's the four symbol oh. of light. Okay, so. In order to become the, the fucking god. That is the symbol of Neptune, the god of the sea. You must stab a bull. It resembles a bull. With the trident. Walk this over the bridge. This seems to represent a and bridge. Only and then. And then you will become the grandma. It is very simple. <laughs> then you will become Mithras. grandma. <laughs> the shadows show us the way to go. We will find Mithras after Neptune, the bull, and the bridge. Interesting. And then the chips. And then the delicious chips, which are taking their goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> they are taking their <laughs> sweet time. I'm using a lot of brain power for this. Dream. We cannot go any further. Cannot simply be replenished on water and coffee alone. <laughs> we require chips. I need to pee as well. I've had a lot of coffee and water. Oh, shall we have a quick break anyway? Can I? I all right, we'll have, a, we'll have, a, we'll have a quick break, shall we? Bloody because hell. This is pretty ridiculous. I do also need to pee. Both of us need to pee. Um, all right, we're going to be right back. It'll be a quick break. Pee break. And then we'll resume. See you in a pee break. The curse of the one-eyed mummy. <laughs> be happy. Be happy.
Hello, everyone. Welcome Hello. back. Still no chips. However, no chips. we're getting closer to detecting the murderer. Um, and it's now getting weird. So, okay. It's getting real fucking Let's weird. Let's just do a real quick recap. We found there was a dead body locked in a room at the Roman baths. Um, we think that one of them locked themselves in because we found the key in there. Mm -hmm. Murder weapon, we think, was a silver object that was then burned in the prazier. So that has solved those two mysteries. We then found, we, 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 we found out that the murdered man had made a startling archaeological discovery. Um, and it's at the... Um, it led us to these Roman, this Frigidarium, which is like a, a cold plunge pool, I guess, under this um, area in St. Albans in London. And, sorry, in, in um, Strand, at the similar baths, which has revealed that there's this thing. Okay, we have to, it's weird. There's a cult of Mithras. I've lost, sorry, my train of thought already. It Lydia. is very oh. complicated. Um, yeah, so there's this cult that uh, is also entwined with it. The way that the guy has been killed is similar to, well, it's exactly the same as what this cult used to do many years ago. This guy was an archeologist. He discovered something uh, and we think that he's now been killed in the same way of, as of what he discovered. Um, he was also looking for something in these baths. Uh, he, he, we've, uh, piece of paper said that he, uh, he was on. He's like he was close to finding it, or something like that. And he thought there was going to be a huge discovery. Yes. But what we don't know is quite a lot. Uh, still, still very vague we as to why the... he's been murdered. There might be something. The motive, like what? He, there's three guys locked in the room with him. Why was the door locked? Um. Yeah. There's a lot of sort of not. We have got a lot of gaps to fill in. Yeah. So basically, like. Pretty much, we want to combine together a. Uh, we want to make a crossbow. Oh, this is cool. Apparently, that's the handle, right? And then the bow bit goes. On. I should use the appropriate object or not. here. Have you not even seen I Buffy the Vampire the Slayer? Object here. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Um, the mechanism goes on the mechanism housing. The shutter goes on the shutter groove. The bow goes on last, I guess. What's this bit over here? Just a bone. A bloody bone, Lydia. Bloody, bloody bone. It looks more like a paintbrush. Um, so, oh wait, so we do have some motives. So one of the guys um, was, his work was scuppered a bit by him, wasn't it? Yeah. Because he was also an archaeologist. The other one owned the bath <laughs> and he wanted, well done, he wanted to open them up, but the dead guy was. I don't really feel like we have any evidence that back. any of them particularly did. Not enough to kill it. Other than we think that the crazy, slightly crazy guy, who might just be crazy because he's had too much John's, John's war. Yeah. I mean, like, he's the sort of. Obvi he's this kind of obvious one because it's like, was he having a hallucination? What did you do? Did oh, you skipped it. <laughs> did you skip it? Well, I basically <gasps> had to. I look away for two silly. minutes and you cheat. Well, you said well done. I was just going to take the well done. Oh, so, okay, our three suspects that. that were also locked in the room are these three guys who are quite different characters. Okay, we've got Percival Blinkhorn, who is a true archaeologist. He's... he's um. He loves it. He's got the bald patch. He's dirty. So he was hired to dig up the Frigidarium. Um, but his work apparently wasn't going very well. Maybe he knew more about it, though. It wasn't going fast enough. It wasn't finding enough. So yeah. the guy who owns it, another one trapped in the place, was getting very angry at him. So, so he this wasn't is, doing good enough. No, this is the guy who owns it. Gregory the, Pitkin. Yeah. Very rich. Um, uh, okay, and the other guy is... The, the weird guy. The weird guy suffers from severe myopia. He's very disturbed. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he could have done it, really. I think he's um, he's the... What's the, the word? fall guy. Yeah, the fall guy. Like, oh, it must be him. He's crazy. Like, he just... I think there's not... If it, I mean, this might be it, but if it turns out, like, he believes in all this cursed stuff and that's why he killed him, 
I don't know, that seems like a bit of a cop-out. I think there's going to be more to it. Yeah. And also, it seems like he highly respected the dead guy. Mm. So it seems weird that he would then go and kill him. Ooh, what's that all about? What was the other thing I needed? I, what did I say? Item required? No, it was the rope, the crossbow, and there was another thing I could pick up around here that I forgot. Oh. The, um, does anyone remember what it was? Was it these hooks? Yes. Ah. Hooks. Excellent. The hooks. I've made a gastrophetes. A handheld crossbow used by ancient Greeks. Do I have to combine them together somehow in a workshop? Or can I can, you just can I just use it? Not very not very good. Yeah, is it possible he's being manipulated? Could be. Oh, it's a nice little uh, Oh god, it's yeah. very um Oh my god, I have to hold my breath. <gasps> you can do uh. it. Wow, you really can't. <laughs> you know, when I shot, I got him right in the head. First try. I didn't mess around. It does require a lot of good practice. A gastrophetes. Fortunately, I'm only shooting into the bloody river. Holmes. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> you better not skip this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to solve a murder here? Yeah, not fucking shooting. <laughs> Whoa, shit! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're drunk, Holmes. You've been on the champagne. Oh, oh, oh! oh no. This is ridiculous. Okay, my bad. So, okay, press continue. Take so, a step. take a step. <laughs> oh. Why is he not? He's holding on. <laughs> And making those very erotic noises. Oh. <laughs> 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 the noises. <laughs> why, why, is, oh. why is this oh. so hard? Why is this so unnecessarily hard? <laughs> Sounds like he is. <laughs> Come on! Are you sure you're doing it right? It doesn't seem like it should be this difficult. Fucking what is it? What is it? Watson is right behind him. That's the problem. Watson, you're in the way. Get off. Get off me. Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras, Holmes? Did you come across as well? <laughs> How did you get across? Be careful. Careful. Bloody hell. Right, it's your turn. I'm going to drink this tea. Okay, you drink the tea. I've done enough skipping. You've skipped I've skipped the everything. two puzzles that I was supposed to do, but they would have taken ages. Like that arm wrestling puzzle from last time. Oh, and yeah. The spelling puzzle. I'm just like, oh, I'm done the with those. Smell puzzle. So done with those. Okay, so going, going down here. I'm going the right way, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. A fucking hidden temple of Mithras. Ooh, it's in the bridge. Bigger and bloody bigger. Ah, staff. Okay. I All saw right. this simple. Which way should we go, Holmes? We want there to ought go. to be some clues here. Let's take a look around. Okay. okay. So these are the these look like each of the symbols. Oh, on I that I saw this thing. symbol in the tunnels underneath the Frigidarium. Yeah, I, I saw this one as well. I saw this symbol. Oh, she's exactly the same. Okay, I so that's what it just centered it on. This one. Should we get? Want to go this way then? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if there's like a trap and we're gonna die. Look, that looks like it's gonna. No. no. Playing too much Tomb Raider. Come on. Let's go raid this tomb! Ooh. This doesn't feel very safe in here. Oh. Oh my god, We've there's come more. In on ourselves. Have we? Oh, it's a fucking maze. Is it a maze? Or is this just. No, this is a different bit. Okay, let's go back up to start. Um, okay, okay, so, okay. Back I think to where what we, we should were. do is follow the symbols based on the series uh, of uh, Ascension. Yes, good idea. Okay. So until we get to the top, to the pie. Um, can we bring that up in our inventory okay, like so somehow? Uh, it was this yeah. one. Yeah. So we want to follow the star first, and then so okay, we do want the star okay, first. So that's right, the, way, we the way we're going. That's fine. Okay. Okay. okay so so star first. Staff. That's number one. Okay. Then we want either the little bee, the little fan thing, or uh, um, not the ant. Not no. the ant. 
That fan thing is number two. This one? No. This one? That one, yeah, this yeah. One. Okay. That's number two. Okay. And then we get you to look at it again. It? Uh, okay. So, so then it's either spear, uh, helmet, spear, or, or whatever bird that jug. Means. Okay. Yeah. Spear. Oh, no, that's locked. Oh, they're all locked. Oh, that's okay. okay. What these things? What's this thing in the middle? Ah, ha! <laughs> it's a rock. Oh, it's scales. It's a it's a test. This reminds me of like Professor Layton or something. I've got to make it more even, Stevens. Oh, what? put that. I won't lie to you. I'm not doing this with any kind of method. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm just moving them around until something <laughs> happens. We need to find out which one is the heaviest. One of these is that. This is the really heavy one. That right over there. Which? So then we can move these away. Oh! Yeah. And that's what we call luck. So one red. The red one was twice as heavy as all the others. Yeah. So we need to go through the helmet, I think. Oh, Jesus. The helmet. This one? Or that oh, one? Oh, uh, well, let's or. have a look, actually. I don't think it's the fancy helmet. I think it's a shit helmet. Yeah, it's a shit helmet. And then... then shit helmet, spear... Then ant, s shovel, or honey spear. So th it's this one, This right? one, yeah. yeah. Go for that. Okay. Yes. Wow, this is a big old place. It's huge. Jesus. Okay. And now it was... Is there another... The thing? ant. Yeah, the ant. This Is this an ant? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. I think so. Can we just check? Yeah. Uh, yes. That that is yeah. The and then it's that. It's this curved spear or moon and moon. moon weird shit. Weird shit. Okay. Oh, it's wet down here. Ooh. Yes. Condensation. Uh, moon and weird shit. There we go. Moon That'll and weird do. We'll shit. We'll go for that one. Yeah. It's possible we are going back to the same rooms. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all intertwined with each other. And then it is the fishing rod, the torch, or the horseshoe. Fishing rod, torch, or horseshoe. That one will do. Okay. Oh, it splits in. Oh, you hear that whispering? It's getting a bit freaky, isn't it? Maybe they go to the same place. Yeah. They do. There we go. And then the last one. Is the curved sword, the fancy hat, or the pie? Pie. Stick. Delicious pie and stick. Delicious. It is a fancy hat. So we want to use the fancy hat. What's the, which one's the fancy hat? That one over there. Oh, the fancy hat. Right. Excuse me. Milady. Milady. Oh, okay. It does the split thing again. Up or down? Oh, did it say something about... Oh, it looks like that way, doesn't it? Something crazy going on here. God damn. Holy shit. There's some green Look, gas. It's the golden knife. Holy shit. What? A fucking golden knife. Oh my god. What place. are you doing? Look at this green smog. Alright, let me in. This lamp is not old. The oil is still fresh. Perhaps Sir Rodney passed by here. No, I do not think so. Remember, he went no further no, than the think castle so. underneath the So who's area. got the murderer, the murderer left, left this lamp? I think it's the guy who owns the bath. I don't. I think it's the guy who dug him up. Oh, the guy who dug him up. Actually, that makes more sense. Uh, but I do think the crazy guy is being manipulated by the other I think so. Yeah. Uh, sorry, wait, what did you say? Remember they went in further again, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I didn't actually pick it up or anything. Okay. What else is there around here? What's up? Is that where the... That's the door. That's the door to get to the golden knife. Okay. So let's here. head around with the size of this. What's that? Ah. A liver. Watson, I need your help. Oh my god, you can switch to Watson. What the? <gasps> I you need to go to the lever on the Watson. other side. 
Finally! How the dream. Bad. Dream team. Jesus Christ. The dream is real. This is beautiful. This is very Tomb Raider-esque. So he couldn't do it. You can't do it on your own. <gasps> That's why he couldn't get in by himself. Maybe he used the crazy guy. No, that he would have got the knife. Maybe he was going to use the crazy guy to help him. But if I let go... No, just switch back. You can let go with Holmes. Yeah. Oh, I see. Now this he one is open. You can go through the other one. Ooh. Oh my god, this So now, now I need to. Christ. We need to find out what they do. So right Okay, once I'm through here, now I can be homes again and let go. Oh no. I'm now away. you're trapped. Now I'm trapped. Let's just, okay, let's just see. Let's just find out what One of these is going to open will this. Free Watson. The middle one. Okay, that has to read him. No. So he can't get to you now, though, right? Uh, but he can get out. Let's see, where can he get to? This well, mechanism seems okay, inactive. Okay, need to go back to Holmes now. Like the door. I just see what the other ones open. So we, we need um, Watson to be over here, though, to open that door so we can walk through it. Okay, that's the final door. We don't need that. Okay, and then. One must be right, that one. Take the door to our left. I think so. Oh shit. No. Okay, that actually is the one we needed in the first place. The first one over there is. Oh, fuck. So we're gonna have to open the middle one, let let him back into his room that he was in before. Okay. <laughs> open the middle one. Shit. This is. Oh, I'm, I mean, I, I, my, I've got no chips in my brain. It's fine. How am I supposed to work this out without the power of potato? Okay, so now, where am I going? Back into your room. Go back into your room, Watson. Back into my... This way? Yes. Okay. It's into there. Back into here. Yeah, and then you right. use the one on the... Then I just... Stop. You don't need that. I so don't just need this. I can't stop pressing that for some reason. Then let go. Yeah. And open this one. Yes. Okay. Because that will allow Watson in to the final room. And then he can go through there, you see. Okay, so now we are him. Ah, but now there's two more leaves. Ooh, okay. Excellent. Let's try one of them. Okay, let's try this one. Ooh. That is the actual door that unlocks the special chamber. Yeah, okay. And what's so the other one do? Let's see what the other one does. I think this must be to let Holmes move along. And that lets. Homes out. So if you go back to homes now, mm -hmm. and you head out. Oh my god, this is just so too much. This is it, and then we can open the special chamber now. Because uh, I Watson. now go to Watson. Yeah, switch back to Watson. Oh. Ah, I want to keep this nice and cute. And you can open now the special, open special chamber, chamber, and then you can go and grab the golden knife, the treasure, okay. which I assume we're all here for. I assume. That's, so the guy came down here. But he couldn't get in because he needed two people uh, to get to the knife. Okay, very interesting. Wait, where is it? Uh, in the middle. In the middle. There we go. Nice. Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do that without you. Okay. Bloody. Golden knife of they got the golden knife. A long lost relic has resurfaced. Watson, it is time to conclude this case. God, I don't feel ready to conclude it. <gasps> no! Now, we should find another way of getting out of here. Excellent. I don't, I don't think I'm going to die down here. Okay, don't worry about that. So, um, I know how to do it. So, go. Okay, you know how to go do back. It. Okay. Rather than. Oh well, we could do the clues first. Oh, that's so, true. We've done barely any. The golden knife. Garrow's drug. Was he? What are we saying? Sorry. Sorry. You you do what you're doing. No, not I don't that know. one. We just got the golden knife. What's that linked to? Golden knife is inside the no stolen notes. Yes, that's what he was. Discovery. That's what he was saying. I'm so close to. So Rodley's secret was an important discovery, a metaphorical bomb. He could use it as a powerful means of annihilating anyone who stood in his way. That he alone might take the fame and the glory. Interesting. Interesting. 
Stop taking it. Even if Pickens is the owner of the bus, he will surely lose them for this major discovery. It will change everything. It will turn the bus into a permanent excavation site to preserve the research. It will never achieve the commercial status that Pitkin desires. So if Pitkin found out about this thing, mm. he might think that he'll never... But then he collapsed the mm, so frigidarium no as well. I don't know. That seems a bit... Although this is what I said last time. I don't know. It seems a bit weird. Why would he do that? Like, and... I've got to look at the evidence rather than if it seems weird. Uh, let's get some more linking. I think you can yeah. do some more linking. I can just what? Do some more linking. Oh, is it, there's more, is there? I reckon there's loads, so there must, there must. Uh, salt and ice. Uh, could that be champagne? No, I thought maybe the ice in the bucket. Strange wound, watery wound. No. No. Okay, we haven't found what we're looking for. Yeah. None of these are really no? for anything. Oh, wait, so we've got loads of stuff we have to find then. Mm, okay. There's still, still mysteries to to be revealed. Uncover. I guess I need to go through and flip in. Ugh, this is quite frustrating. So what we're going to have to do is we have to go through and get... We can get we can get Watson to the exit by doing this with Holmes. Just get... Yeah, and then just leave Holmes to die down there. That works. That's alright, we just... So what we do is we send Watson through this door. Uh, once yeah, once one. That, uh, today resubscribe, thank you very much. Aranga resubscribe, thank you. Hidden Eden also resubscribe, thank you very much. I don't know if I've read these or not. Dynasty, SC2, thank you. And Schmidty87, thank you very much. Uh, Nai uh, Nawi, resubscribe. Thank you. Fifty-seven months, fifty-six months. My goodness. No ad squad. Lovely. Thank you. Sir Linda, resubscribe. Boot S. Thank you. Dale Crew, resubscribe. Thank you very much, Dale Crew. Xander, and also resubscribe. Pop Tram. Thank you. Energetic. Oh, we've done re energetic bum. So I think we've done all these ones. Thank you very much, guys. I cannot leave Holmes trapped here alone, even though he did ruin my favourite handkerchief. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I need to free so Holmes him now. Out, but for some reason, it's not enough for this game. Like, why do we need to take the knife? Can't we just leave it there? <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Oh, bold. Just, oh my god. I guess Holmes has to be the one you, that you escape with. I this is very tedious yeah, unnecessarily, so... You can't skip it. <laughs> I bet Holmes would leave Watson in there. He's that kind of guy. Uh, can we just... Steve, can you check... Can you check that, like... Ah. Falmall says, read the newspaper very carefully and tell me what gender the mummy is. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. 10,000 bits. 10,000 bits. Thank you. God, I just... No, 1,000. No, it is 1,000. God, I, really, I do know where my bits. glasses, don't I? Thank you so much. 1,000 bits. Oh, man. The, what did you say? The food just turned up. Chips have arrived. What? <gasps> Chips? Chips. Question mark? There is a lever in the final hallway, is there? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, thank this God I'm reading the chat. seems inactive. Oh. Most likely... How about this one? Ah, that looks good. That looks excellent. Wow, it's so dark. Yeah. I mean, there is a way to, like, I guess you can do this. Just You can get them back to where they started, but it's, like, pretty slow going. Oh. Yeah. Watson? Watson, hello? Oh, I see. And then I turn this one and then open this one. That one? It can't really seem big. Yeah, I'm surprised he's moving yeah. here. Thank you, chat, for noticing that. And now he can come out as well. Hooray! Yeah. Nice We and made dark. it out. Very nice. What, so what, a, what a bit of tedious stuff that was. I wish I could have skipped that bit. Okay. 
So let's... That was a bit shit, wasn't it, that bit? It was okay for the first bit to get the knife. I don't think they should have made it so you had to do it again to get out. We just need to do a couple of bits of analysis, bits of analysis. in the lab. And obviously now we know what we were doing. We still need to find the missing weapon. Still on our list of tasks. Yeah. We definitely need to do that. <sighs> Uh, oh. No, Steve, there's no food allowed. We'll have, we'll have to just wait. Um, we can it's wait like 15 minutes, right? It's 15 right? minutes. It's 15 minutes. We'll be all right. Um, let's combine. Oh, thank you. Oops. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Rip. Sherlock Holmes. Just decided to up It was like, eat? it was like, put up, it's like on strike. It's like, but I want my chips. <laughs> How could we possibly not have chips now at this immediate moment? I can't believe it just decided to die. It better have, it better have done a save. Oh, I think it probably did. A, quick, a nice quick save. I oh, imagine if you've got to do all of that shit with the thing again. Oh, my God. That would be a game. I'd just strangle myself. <laughs> I could do that for you. Pray to the gods of tits. <laughs> This works. Tits. Pray to the Please God of tits. To the God of tits. That's what you have to do. Pray. No, no, no. I don't have anything to throw at you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Combine there the are two. twelve pieces. Here. Let's try together. Oh, them. flip me. Flip. Ooh. Flip me. Idiot. I will count this piece as a starting point. Excellent news. Hold for vertical rotate. What? What? Oh. Is it like a... Um, oh, it's one of these. I can move them? But then you release... Oh, oh, what? Or maybe I just have to join them together. Okay, so... Well, select... Wait, can you... Select and verify. What oh. the shit is happening? Hold for vertical rotation. Release. Oh. I will count. I understand that this is deselecting it, but there's no controls. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is quite. Oh, that one's got like a funky little cut off the edge. See, so I'm looking to see if I can get this hole into this bit, but. Oh, I see. I have to hold. What? Oh. Okay, look. This is so weird. So I can rotate it horizontally, but there's oh. obviously no bits that join in. Like this doesn't fit in with that one on the right. Oh, I have to... S oh, you can move them. Oh, my God, this is way more confusing than it looks. It is a mold, and it is ready oh. for casting. That was easy. What? <laughs> How did you do that? I fiddled it out. The did you skip? Prepared for casting. <laughs> no. You just need to Every fill time it I look away. Material. <laughs> Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid of maledictions, mm. and yet... So Rodney made a reconstruction of the golden knife out of silver. That's what was used to kill him. Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. Go get half a glass of bloody water. Splash that in there. Make a bit of paper Give it a good mache. stirring. Stir this up. A little bit of porridge. And in we take it, pour it into the bloody hole. So this is to make And then half. we'll find the Let murder weapon. Let's see what we have here. I bet you it's a curved sword. Shit. Only bloody is. It's only yeah. bloody well is. This knife is very similar to that described by the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. I mean, I think he's onto something. So he didn't find the golden knife, but he knew he found the mold. Wait, was it, where was the mold? Uh, in On his office. Oh. Yeah. Where we found stuff now. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is a bit tricky. Well, it looks like. <gasps> oh, was this the thing that was stolen from his office? This is the. The um, like pictures. The one was stolen. Well, one wasn't there. Is this like the four corners here? Um. There's bits missing, which is quite annoying. What am I? Why? Okay, Ooh, that nice. joins together. Very nice. I'm just trying to join up 
obvious like bits oh, that look like they lines. Yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, Doing a puzzle, Lydia. Okay. A okay. Plod Plidia. Plidia plod Plazzle. Plazzle. All right, almost there. Let's just begin here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is all looking very good. Oh, no pieces missing either. Wonderful. All right, now let's look Done. at this. Bloody Watson, thing. could you please use this negative and your photographic equipment to process the photograph? There's a man in two pyramids. Did you this see, was missing. It? it was missing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Thank you, Watson. Now I must pyramids. use reagents to develop oh, the photograph. Yes. Oh, and there's writing. Give it a rub. There's a man. Oh, I wonder this if... This is oh. Sir Rodney, probably, isn't it? Sir Rodney and probably the Here's other archaeologists. Look at this. How good they are. Look at them all. Why was oh, this stolen salt. from his... That's for the chips. And there's the potatoes. <laughs> they're making it into the... Look, and he's eating they're some of the potatoes. They're peri, peri chips. That's what they're doing. Jesus. Oh, okay, what oh, what's it Ooh. say? Ice cream in the desert. We are indebted to the Romans who Ooh. developed the chips. So that's why he's got his ice bucket, you see. Ice cream in the desert. Ooh. That was the ice bucket. The ice Another bucket challenge. The ice bucket challenge. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're doing ice. it. And salt. Delicious potato ice, ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Peri peri. Peri peri Chicken. ice cream. Pyramids of geese. Geese. So that's dead Rodney. And that's just unknown archaeologist on the left. We don't know who that is. Ice. Salt. Salt. So that's it. <gasps> salt and crushed ice may help to create ice cream. Okay. Yes, yes, what yes. What the bloody hell does that have to do with the man? My Dave? analysis table. Well, now we know that the bloody... Um, well, well, first of all, we know that the strange wound and the mold form are linked together because that was the weapon. Yes. And um, it was possibly made from from silver. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Mold was used to create the silver murder weapon, okay. of course. Okay. Okay. Check. We, um, we need a silver to, knife. We need to create. If we can see if we we can create a silver knife. Okay. 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 Which I think we probably can, because it shouldn't be too silver difficult. Silver experiment. Let us try to create an op. Okay. Let's melt up some silver. Turn it will take a minute to melt the off. silver with my gas burner. Do you remember in a science that. class you'd have like that little knob where you twist it and all the gas would come out? Yes, the gas tap. Yes. The mold is hot. I should wait for it to I cool down. I feel like down. that was just people just setting it on fire with lighters all the time. Done. Lovely. This is the knife. The homemade. I mean, that God, looks pretty looks goddamn good. good. That looks like it could take a man's knife eye out. With the silver that we found. It could have been used to kill Sir Rodney. And then you just shove it, it on the... It was extremely clever fire. to create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime. It really was. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, silver okay. knife inside the brazier, you see. Lovely. Yes. It was destroyed in the brazier. Okay. Yes, so this is exactly right. Silver weapon was used and then destroyed in the brazier after the crime. Yeah, it's got to be. I think it's just a hot, steamy... Steamy moisture. Steam method the silver knife. The murderer hid the weapon in the cloud steam room. He then placed the knife in the brazier in order to destroy it. Results mm. in the melted silver knife found. Ooh. Which points towards Pitkin with Pitkin. the silver knife. He killed Sir Roddy to conceal the discovery. The only way to save the room bars from the upcoming excavations. He intended to start his own business. He then used a silver reproduction of the golden knife of Mithras. Okay. So if we think it was Pitkin, do we think, think it was, it was Pitkin? Pitkin? Let's look at this. Let's his motive, of course, would be to stop, stop the takeover. Because he wants his he's got this, this valuable secret, you see. But then we've got... So many things that still need linking. Yeah. We know what it was. Can we go back to the linky page? Yes. Glass plate negative. Just to see if any of these connect. Yeah. So this is a negative. Someone was experimenting with the Rome method of ice production. Right. Okay. So what is this? The mold. Check of an ice, ice knife. knife. An ice knife. <gasps> Hidden in the champagne bucket. And then it melted and left a water puddle underneath him. 
my god. Oh my god, an ice knife. Ice knife. Yes, that could be it. Let's try. If I wish to. Let's. If I, I wish to shape the. That's the water. water. That's the water. By Joe. Ice. That's why it's a be... wet. A block very of wet blood. Yes. Ice, salt, and then the mixing. But then what was in, what was that silver in the... Yeah, what was the silver in the, 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 the fire thing? What was that all about? Ice. If we can find another excuse for what that silver is. Holmes, look. The temperature is reducing. Elementary, dear Watson. Can we do this? <laughs> oh. oh we need to... It's getting too hot. Get more ice in there. Ice. Well, Holmes. this is why you need the salt. Oh, we... to stop it from melting. Yeah. Because the salt reduces the, the boiling point, the, yeah. the freezing point of water. And it allows it to get much, much cooler, you see, and normal with the salt. I thought ice melted. I mean, um, <laughs> obviously ice melts. I thought this, this adding salt would melt it down, wouldn't it? Ice. Isn't that why the grit was... Uh, I don't bloody A know. Let's just put more ice, ice in. Ice, salt, and then... We used to make minus 20. Holy crap. Let's just pour all the ice in. Just shove it in there. And shove the salt in. fucking salt in. Jesus Christ. Plenty of yeah, salt. Yeah, salt dissolves ice. I thought that's, that's why they grit the roads with it. Well, no, it lowers the temperature yeah. at which we be I water Let us try again freezes. Be precise so that the sea doesn't timing. freeze. It's full of salt. Oh. And so it has oh. to freeze at much lower temperature. Oh. I see. So what it does is you, it's, you salt the roads to make the so ice the into ice water, forming. so it all drains away. If I wish to shape <laughs> an ice knife. I mean, we are a running out of time. A surprising and yet a very brilliant idea. Very it's close to running out of time. perfect weapon. It enables one to kill a man and then it melts. The only trace it leaves is a small puddle on the ground. But we still don't know who did it, the archaeologist or the owner of the the bar. Oh, the ice spice in, in the champagne flagon. So we're saying that we think that it wasn't a silver knife. It was actually an ice knife. I think it was an ice knife. And that's what caused the water. That does explain the champagne. Yeah. Which... But it's still pointed towards Pitkin as his murder. Uh, yeah, motive. it isn't giving us another option. It's weird. They're, n they're not suggesting that it could be... The two blink oh, I guess, yeah, if we change it. Oh, so that's it, because we said he was angry, so it's... Lincoln is his only specialist who is aware that he's about to be cast outside over a major discovery. And he's got vengeance. So he plans it and does the ice knife. Yeah, I think it's more likely to be blink but you might think it's Pick here. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, we need to know how they did it. And, I mean, the silver knife or the ice knife doesn't really matter, does it? Whether it was a silver knife or an ice knife that killed him. At the end of the day, we need to know who did who it. Who killed him? Yeah. Why was the door locked? I mean, there's a lot of weird things. Why was the door locked? The lump of metal melted in the thing. Who did it? My archive. I can always... Oh, yeah, the big one. Well, You've let's just it. very quickly go and see if any of them have anything else to say. Yeah, we, we haven't spoken to them in a while. Judgment. It doesn't seem that. It doesn't seem that like the other guy's even an option. Like we haven't really found any evidence mm. at all linking him. The archaeologist. The archaeologist. Yeah, there's been nothing to like suggest why he'd be angry enough to murder him. Um, let's just very quickly do the last linking, if there is even. No, we haven't got any. Gary's drugs. So we're missing something. We are. But yes. let's talk to Garrow because he's the. Please. So could he have melted the something as some sort of? Perhaps you could explain thing? the cult of ah. Mithras to me. This will probably tell us. No, there, there is nothing to say. We, we we are not the worthy ones. But Sir Rodney believed that he was. He was wrong. I I have visions. Mm. The golden knife. The the mummy. Oh, it's all my fault. Calm down, Mr. Garrow. Right. Okay, that's all we got. So we know that. Aha! The lost link. 
So we could we could suggest that he's tortured by his obsession with the Mithras curls, has begun insane, condition worsened by the medication he's taking, or he's just depressed. Uh, he overmedicates himself and has hallucinations. So what do we think happened in there? So we think so Rodney maybe like came back, had this big discovery to show them all, um, or told them about it. Someone took the key, killed him, dropped the key in the blood. Why? And if it was the owner of the spa, why did he have to steal a key? Should he have his own key? So we could say it was Garo if we wanted to. Motive paranoia. Garo's suffering was too great after Sir Roddy's grand discovery. Garo lived in fear of the Mithras curse. Developed. I don't think he's smart think enough to, to make an ice knife no. or a silver. But then again, he did forge the silver. He did. He did do that. Fix that band. So that could imply that he melted the silver in the pot, but it doesn't mean that he killed. I don't think it was Garrow with the ice knife. The fact that he mended that ring with silver. Who said that Rodney brought the ice bucket? Oh, good point. Who did say that? I can't remember. I think it was. Was it the owner? I feel like it was the owner. It's Garrow. Who said that Who's Rodney said? brought the ice bucket? That's a great point. Because that person him? would have implicated, would have distracted him from his own. It was the owner. It was the sweaty guy. Was it Garrow? Hmm. Oh. We could talk to these other guys about Mithra and see what they know about Mithra. What can you tell me about Mithras? Oh, so much. It was the core of our work. Why do you ask? Were you seeking the golden knife? Ah, I see you are an amateur. Yes, the golden knife was our grail. It is said that it bears the only text explaining the ritual of the cult of Mithras. I understand. I read something about immortality. A myth. Uh, the knife would provide immortality only to the worthy one, and yet it is cursed, and it would kill you if you are not initiated. All right. Did you expect to find the golden knife at the baths? Well, Sir Rodney thought that it might be there. Uh, did you observe the knife representations there? They are so extraordinary, uh, and we had hoped that... It is a tragedy that he has passed away, taking all of his secrets with him. Mm. As soon as I've been released, I will continue Sir Rodney's researches in his memory. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Please. Right. The paintings in the baths are focused on Mithras, I understand. Yes, they are what make this place remarkable. And that is why Sir Rodney came here? He believed that the golden knife, which is an ancient ritual item, was hidden somewhere around the baths. I admit that it would be wonderful if it were true. And you are not concerned by the reputation of this artifact? <laughs> you mean the curse. Before someone is dead, it is a blessing. After they are dead, well, then it becomes a curse. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. My, what I'm leaning into. I feel is, like we don't have enough time. We, well, we have to, we have to make a we've call. We've got to wrap it up and we've got to watch the ending and I. <sighs> okay, so, okay. No. I think it is going to be, um, I think it's, I like the idea. I don't understand why the silver lump was in the crime and why his glasses were on there. Maybe it was something else. Maybe he was mad and it was something else. I think that it was probably, I don't, I think it was most likely to be, oh, he's, he's, he's gone weird. Is he, he's weird. What do you think? I reckon it's gotta be this guy, Blinkhorn, you know? I feel like he's yeah, wants vengeance. Yeah, should we do I, think I feel like he feels like he's being cut knife. off. No, no, no. I'm thinking, you're thinking the owner with the ice knife. I'm thinking the guy who was 
cucked. I don't think the owner... Oh, Blinkhorn, the archaeologist? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, let's do the archaeologist. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise that was even an option. He killed Sir Roddy to avenge the abuse of power. The death would be to his financial benefit and now he the Lumiere. And now he can get the golden knife and be the big yeah. archaeologist. Yeah, I think that, I think that. Blinkhorn sorry. knew of Bentcliffe's intention to take all the credit. He devised a cunning plan to eliminate Bentcliffe. Or he devoted his life to developing the golden knife and the credit was about to be stolen if he had been given the opportunity to claim ownership of the discovery. I don't think we can nah. absolve him. I don't think you can absolve it. It's still murder. Yeah, no, I think this is it. Sorry, I didn't think it was the owner. I got, I got a bit confused there. I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. Why have I been put into these cuffs? Um, I fear that you had better get used to them, Mr. Blinkhorn. They are your reward for the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? No, that's a lie. It is regrettable, for you are a talented archaeologist. I will request that you are placed in a prison where you are unable to dig an escape tunnel. That right. is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. You, the are... consulting detective who salutes your intelligence in performing I think the, the owner perfect crime. is already rich. Yes, but also the gentleman doesn't who didn't have any mo motivation. Yeah. You know nothing. You wish to be the one who would reveal this yeah, to the world. Is that the golden knife? Also, he was too oh. nice about the dead guy. I also like to dig, <laughs> you see. That's how I find I out. It's always the trail. nice one. Such yeah. A pity that there is always well, everyone else is like always a bit of a dickhead, but he's like, oh, okay. I love how we're patting ourselves in the back. As if yeah, like we don't even know this is right. <laughs> you had oh, to no. take it. It was not to be shared. Don't shoot him in the head. <laughs> but now I am here. And there is no one who will stop the tread of justice, Mr. Blinkhorn. Oh. Goodbye. Is it right? Should we find out? Three, two, one. Yeah! yeah we did it! It was Blinkhorn with the we ice got it. knife. Amazing. Blinkhorn knew the... Uh, 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 he deserved a cunning plan. Eliminate his rival, but reward him for the fame of discovery. He's a handmade ice worker to create an ice-made production of a golden knife. Carried it to the steam room in an ice bucket with champagne. Amazing! Uh, and then after murder, drop the knife onto the floor, allowing it to with the water. The rope is a fitting, is a fitting punishment. punishment. I mean, there's things, some things, like some blanks I didn't get. Why the door was locked. What the lump of metal was about. But... Yeah, I think there's some. Sure there's going to be about. some red herrings that aren't linked to it, um, and I feel like the lump of silver in the brazier was th herring. that one. But I think it could have just been that he's nuts. Yeah. Oh, the me, I believed in a curse and threw something else in there. Maybe like a plate or a cup yeah. or a silver yeah, yeah, yeah. Any glass silver. or anything. It didn't have to be a knife. But why did he lock the door behind them? I just don't understand why he did that. Mm, no, I don't know that. Anyway, that is that is, that our is it. We Thank did you, it. Everyone. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We are going to <gasps> finish the case. So I'll press yes. We're going to eat some chips. We're going to have some chips. The chips are here. We're going to eat chips. Amazing. And we'll we did back. it. That was a great case. That was, I really enjoyed that Thank one. Thank you for uh, joining. Uh, locked the door to give the knife time to melt properly. Oh, I see. So no one so saw it. Get in. So it was stuck. Good. There you go. Like great it. thinking. All right, guys. Do join next week, Friday at 11. We'll be we'll back. Solve more mysteries. That's right. I think I'm going to be here. Are you here? E mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm going to GDC, but I think it's the week after. So. Oh, I'm not here the week after next either. Oh, good. So we, won't, we both won't be here the week after right. next. Perfect. Steve will do it. Steve will do it. See ya. Enjoy the cold chips. We will. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye, bye.